Hey everybody, it's 9.58, mailbag starts at 10. Uh, we're gonna do it in the den today. I thought we'd get some kittens to join us in here. We probably will once I sit down and start talking, but nobody's here right now, surprisingly. Anyway, uh, you guys would not believe how much mail there is. It's mostly sort of off camera here. Uh, wait until we get started. And um, it's a lot. I've still got a little bit more to bring in. So you're gonna have to forgive me. We're almost certainly gonna start a couple minutes late, but not very late. I've almost got it all. And uh, so I'll be back in just a couple minutes. We'll talk about what happens next. All right, thanks. Be right back. Think about the fact that all the light is going to be coming from behind you. Put it a little bit in front. Look better that way. Dang it. Good planning. Good, good planning all around here. We know what we're doing. Let's try just a little bit of light on this side, all right? There we go. That'll be a little nicer. Uh, I'd like to turn on the other light, uh, but the other light in here is a really bad LED that messes with cameras. Let me see. I can't tell on this screen, but I bet it looks like it's flickering, doesn't it? Oh, really? I don't know. I can't tell on this screen. I guess somebody let me know. If it seems like it's flickering, I'll turn it off again. Um, give me one second now to get myself together. I've got all the mail in, I think. Do I? Oh, wait, one more. Gotta go get the box and my coffee that's already made. I just gotta grab it. I'll be right back.
All right, everybody, here we are. Uh, this is going to be a super epic mailbag because there is so much stuff for us to get through. It's, it's crazy the amount of stuff, just the amount. I'm going to take a couple pictures before we get started. Document it from a different angle so everybody can see just how much stuff we're talking about. Okay, oh, and the chair, and our candle. Everybody, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's uh, let's start out with that jingle if we can. to do this thing or as ready as we're going to be, which is maybe not as ready as we ought to be, uh, still we'll give it a shot. There's, uh, there's a lot of kittens inspecting the packages too. I wonder if that's something I can get up here on the screen for everybody. Hang on. That's the wrong camera. Let's try again. So, big news this week. As you guys know, Doodle got adopted. He went home yesterday, and tomorrow it's hijinks and hustle. And then after that, uh, I don't know exactly, but it's, it's coming up. Everybody's coming up. It's happening fast. We also had a mom cat that might have come in today. It turned out not to be a mom cat, so she's not coming after all. And uh, that's... That's mostly it for news. Now, the thing that I want to mention is, uh, as you know, there's a ton of mail. There's this giant pile of mail sitting next to me. Um, there's a couple boxes over on this side, and there's a giant pile of mail in the front hall that I didn't even bring in here. So it is a lot for us to get through. And the, the, the down, uh, the sad side of it is I can't just say we're going to put this off for a different day. we got to go through it all, and we got to go through it all today because Hustle and Hijinks are getting adopted tomorrow. I want to make sure we've got all their endowments ready to go. Plus, Doodle's adopter already came and got Doodle knowing that she wasn't going to get all the endowments and it's going to come back during the week to pick them up. So I've got to get everything open, and then I've got to get everything sorted today, and then we'll be ready for Hustle and Hijinks tomorrow, Doodle later in the week, and everybody else when their turn comes. That's my way of apologizing in advance. We're going to make this entire mailbag a lightning round, and I'm going to uh, say thank you to everybody, but I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to fully express uh, the, the way I feel, you know, uh, towards everybody. I just want to say up front that this is, you guys are amazing. The volume of your love for these kittens is amazing. It is a very high volume of love uh, for these kittens, as we can see. Um, never mind, uh, you know, the, the quality of that love is also spectacular, and I want you to know I recognize that, uh, even though in today's mailbag, I may have to go a little quick and not give that all the recognition that it, it fully deserves. I apologize again. So let's start, though, as we always do with some letters, all right? We got a pretty good stack of those, so uh, let's warm it up. Let's warm it up with some letters, and then we'll move into the packages, and then uh, a couple few hours from now, we'll be done. Uh, I will try to move as fast as I can, but I think even moving as fast as I can, we're, we're looking at a solid couple hours of mail back here. We might need an intermission. Who knows? Oh, look how cute this is. It's Chevy and Argy. 
uh, is shoving Argy's Christmas card. And they've got their naughty and nice. Uh, they've been checkboxed uh, where um, Chevy has been marked nice and Argy has been marked naughty. It says Santa Claus is coming to town. It's a very cute Christmas card. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Chevy and Argy. As I'm talking to you, uh, DJ, I can see her directly behind the camera from where I'm sitting. Uh, she's also sitting on the floor and she's doing her own reverse mailbag. She is putting together all of our Christmas cards for all of you. So that's what she's doing right now. Okay, here we have another Christmas card and this one includes the note. This one is from Jenny, Simon, River, and Cobb. Those are some good names. Oh, we have Simon, Cobb, and River's paw prints uh, from Jenny, aka Human to Cats. That is also a very sweet Christmas card. And you include a note that says the note. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, esteemed faculty and wonderful students. A very happy holiday to you all. Another year in the books and another year that KA has made the world a better place. My thanks to you for all that you do, not just for the kittens and mom cats, but for us humans as well. You are a ray of sunshine and, oh, sorry, you are a ray of sunshine and hope in a world that can sometimes be a little dark. Last year, Simon was very excited to say good riddance to 2020. This year, he may have the same thought, but he's taking it much better. The first half of the year was a stressful time of preparing a house to sell, finding a house to buy, and moving. Once we were settled into our new place, we, well, I, welcomed two new additions into our home. In September, five-month-old siblings, River, half a tabby mask, and Cobb, a full tabby mask, joined our family. K8 taught me how to make it as smooth a transition for everyone as possible. The little ones are in love with Simon, though he definitely is irritated at times by their lack of understanding regarding personal space. Your wonderful photo shoots with the faculty and students inspired me to try my hand at getting some good photos for our holiday card. Simon was basically cooperative and took about three photos to get a decent one. Uh, the kittens, on the other hand, were something else entirely. I know we see a lot of your outtakes on the Discord server, but I don't want to know how many you actually had to take to get even those. All of this is to say thank you. Thanks for making KA the best place on the internet. May you all have a wonderful holiday season, and I look forward to another year of happiness with this wonderful community you've helped to create. Uh, from at Jenny, aka Human to Cats, Simon River and Cobb. P.S. A special shout out to the multi talented at Busy Cat for applying her post processing skills to my photos. Well, I was about to say, I think these photos are fantastic in the bouquet uh, with those little, the red sheet and the sort of sparkly lights that you've got is beautiful. Uh, that is an excellent idea for a backdrop. And the photos are fantastic. You've done a very good job. So uh, thank you for thinking of us and sending that. Okay, I'm going to set these down so I can put the note with them. Here we go. Uh, this says season's greetings and it's got cats and dogs in Christmas clothing. And on the inside it says one more card for the card board. Oh yeah. Happy holidays to Mr. A, DJ, and all the faculty and academy students wishing you all the happiness your holidays can hold from SD Grady and Beta Cats. Thank you, SD Grady. Very cute. Perfect for our card board, which is not made of cardboard. It's made of cork, I think. Something corkish. <clears throat> oh, it's a sleepy Santa covered in kittens. Uh, that is so cute. It's a really cute painting, actually. It says, sending warm wishes, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year from Teresa L., along with Gus, Rocky, Tux, and Brownie. That's very sweet. And uh, I thought it might say something about the art on the back, but it doesn't. So it's just a very, very cute picture of Santa napping with uh, with kittens. I love it. A picture, it's a painting, beautiful painting. Okay. All right. Next, uh, we have a kitten wearing a, it's a painted on a Christmas hat. So it didn't actually have to wear it for the photo shoot. That's a smart way to do it. It says, just little old Santa Claus here to wish you a Merry Christmas. Aw. To Mural Brew, Tom Foolery, Eddie Logan, Maggie, Ari Custard, Hijinx, Caper, Hustle, Sham, Gimmick, Gambit, Trace, Squiggle, Etch, Doodle, Scrawl, and Splotch. Have a wonderful Christmas, Meow, and Mr. Whiskers 2, Squeak. 
Thanks for all the love. Merry Christmas to Mr. A and Dr. DJ and all the cat, cat, cats and kittens at the Academy for, uh, I think this says uh, from, for a, for a, uh, uh, oh, Laura, Laura, Tiny Paint, Tiny Paint Span is the important part. It's from Tiny Paint Span. We got that part. And uh, same thing, I just, I'm already spacing stuff. Uh, let's uh, dive in. The note, okay to read on air. Good, we like that. It does say Laura, Tiny Paint Span. Good, I got that. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for all you do for the cats and kittens in your care. I can only imagine how much time, energy, and money it takes to keep so many healthy and happy and to make sure they get into good homes. I first started watching when loon scatterings were about three weeks old, and I was impressed by the amount of time you spent making sure they were well-fed and healthy, especially when I heard Shabby had to be taken all the way to the big city of New York in the middle of the night for an emergency health scare. He's such a big, healthy, happy boy now, as is Millet, who I later learned it needed surgery and extra special care also. Since then, I've seen the care Harry, Rue, Mural, and Splotch have received to make sure they stay healthy. Knowing how expensive veterinary care can be, my sister and pattern weaver on Discord and I have sent donations to help you with your emergency veterinary care fund. We're sure as you keep fostering kittens, additional unexpected issues will arise. Please give Eddie a nice head rub for me and tell him he's my fave. But don't let the others know. I don't want them to be jealous. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Best, Laura Tiny Paints fan on Discord. Merry Christmas also to all the new adopters. Aw. Well, thank you so much. And those, uh, those donations from you and your sister are uh, just remarkably generous. Uh, thank you very, very much for those as well. Uh, much appreciated. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This one is sealed with an actual uh, seal. It's got a kitten in the seal, too. That's real sealing wax. How cool is that? It's a little kitten with uh, sitting in the garden at night, I think, with a moon. And uh, I'm hoping I can get this open without breaking the seal. I don't know if I can. This is very tricky. Why is this so tricky? This is a letter opener. Letter opener, you have exactly one job to do. Come on now. It's in your name. Oh, you're right. It can. We've learned this from television. It makes an excellent murder utensil. If you have any murdering to do, I highly recommend this. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a, a, a block print, a stamp, a block stamp uh, of a snowflake that says holiday greetings. It says sending you wishes for the happiest of all holidays. No, it says just the happiest of holidays. That's okay, too. Let me start over. Sending you wishes for the happiest of holidays, all our best for 2022 from Jenny, Jimmy, Winnie, and Gary. Aw, that's so cute. I love your block print, uh, like whitewash. Um, uh, uh, what am I looking for? Snowflake is the word I'm looking for. That is really cool. And uh, the little real seal, I'm keeping your envelope because of that. I don't normally keep the envelope part. Thank you, Winnie and Gary. It's great to hear from you and your owners as well. All right. Oh, this is cute. This is a very excited looking kitty. It says, me wow. And on the inside, it says, if you're not totally impressed with yourself and DJ, you should be. I know I am. You and DJ are incredible. Uh, this is a highly edited note, actually. It's not, I mean, they had to cross out words and things and write them in to make it say that. But that is what it says. And then it's covered in stickers on the inside, too. Very cute waffles and uh, pizzas and uh, a lion and some turtles. And here it says, history of Muru, also covered in stickers and pineapples, mostly pineapples. It says, Mr. A was waiting for one new mom cat. K.A. brings in Mural, the polydactyl furry butt. We all wait and wait and everyone buys pineapples at their local food store to try and encourage Mural to pop those kids out. I, I am not even going to try to explain how pineapples are related to that. Okay. Uh, Mural was holding on and making sure they were all getting baked on both sides evenly. Still, no little furries running around with Mural. Mr. A decides to pick up a cat that already had her six little kittens at Dr. Katz's office on September 2nd. She is part of KA. Mural, the mom cat, has been at KA since July 31st. She must smell two-week-old kittens in the house, and that gets her motivated because the next day, September 3rd, 
Uh, Mural Pew Pew Pews out six little furry butts as well. Four of the six have Mural's polydactyl gene. Oh, and uh, she started giving birth in the pineapple bed. The only one orange in the group, later known as Etch, has the creepy long fingers, even from birth, or just a really big thumb, whichever you prefer. Mr. A had this idea for a long time, putting a cat door. These guys are making so much noise digging back here in the corner. Oh. Is he going to save himself? One of them has kind of slipped over the corner of the box and can't get up. Uh, okay, it was Trace, and she's got it. All right. Uh, let's see, where are we? Putting a cat door window unit portal to go from Annex 1 to Annex 2, he thinks this could be the perfect time to try and merge the two classes into one. Over a few times, Mr. A gives Mural and Rue treats of the cat door in their own rooms. Pretty soon, they think it's a treat portal, and Rue comes trotting to the door. Both Mural and Rue... Rue, I hear you talking. What are you saying over there? Um, both Mural and Rue get more used to each other, so Mr. A brings both of them out of the rooms into the neutral zone called the hallway. They get a few treats there, and Mural sees that Rue, the new neighbor, gets to have crunchy food. So she goes straight into Rue's room and starts munching away. That is what happens. She spent all of her time eating all of the dry food for Rue. Uh, maybe a few more days go by with getting used to each other, and then before you know it, the treat portal those doors open 24-hour access between the two rooms. Rue's kids are the ones who hop on over to Mural's kids first because they are two weeks older. But before we know it, Trace thought she was a big kid and was hanging out with Rue's Rue's. Sometime between the last week of September and the first week in October, or sometime around there, they all made the big move down into the main room, being one big happy family of 12 kittens and two mom cats. No one knows who belongs to who anymore. The rest is K.A. history. Or should I say, Muru history. Muru history. Uh... Okay, wait, I think there may have been one more kitten added later to the mix, Tommy Pastrami from the Bronx, but that's a whole other story of cuteness, of course. So to sum it all up, we have a total of 20 furry butts at Kitten Academy in Connecticut. That equals 13 kittens, two mom cats, and the five permanent residents of the KA faculty. That's 80 legs, 40 eyeballs, 20 ears, and 20 balancing wands. Uh, AKA the tail, and we can't forget the two other mammals, Dr. DJ and Mr. A, Rue and Blue, Mural being floral. I tried to rhyme the mom cats with the color suit they were wearing, but nothing really rhymed with Mural, so I came up with floral, and then of course I thought of flower, even though she is spelled the way of food ingredients, and then of course I thought of little Millet, he was so cute. He also had 100% his mother's eyes. Finally, I thought of truffle and her pretty eyes and fur. And then I was done getting lost in K.A. rabbit holes because, to be honest, one could be here all day talking about K.A. moms and the temporary cats like baby, myth, and rumor. Okay, I should stop now. Anyways, that is how mural plus rue equals muru. I hope that both you and Dr. DJ and your families are in good health. We both can't wait to hear where DJ is going to get her fellowship. Fingers crossed she gets one. And that photo you took of rue and scrawl in the podcast was beyond cuteness overload for me. Oh, by the way, I subscribe to your podcast. You take so many great photos of all the KA cats and kittens that pass through along with the permanent residents and the faculty. I like the one with Rue and Mural sitting in the kitchen and, of course, Eddie that have Eddie's green eyes. Jess and Diane from the Keystone State. Uh, you don't have to read this part out loud, only if you want to. Did you guess which state that is? Hint one, it's on the East Coast. Hint two, only about 200 miles difference. Hint three, one of the towns could be considered the mushroom capital of North America. If mushrooms aren't your thing, I know you got that sweet tooth, it could be considered the chocolate capital of North America. Get it square for mushrooms and a Hershey for chocolate. If you still didn't get it, well, I guess I'm just going to have to tell you. And then there's a little piece of paper I have to lift up. It says Pennsylvania. All right, Pennsylvania. Well, thank you so much, Jess and Diane from Pennsylvania, the Keystone State. And uh, thank you for the memories of Mural and Rue. It sure has. It just seems like it's been such a long time since, since Mural showed up. It has been such a long time. And it's, uh, it's amazing the journey that they have been through with us. Uh, it, it really is something to sit and think back on everything that we've, we've been through and uh, gotten over with them. It's good. All right, uh, here's a pic of my cat, Lily. It says, I wish you a very beautiful holiday to you and Dr. DJ. Keep doing your good job with cats. I hope 2022 brings you lots of pregnant cats. 
Sophie and Jacques uh, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. That is such a great little photo of your tiny little Lily. Uh, thank you so much. All right, that is the uh, letters portion of today's mailbag. Now it's time to start opening stuff. And uh, again, trying to keep it going in a hurry. So mostly thanks in advance to everybody. But let's see what we can do here. Just gonna just dive right in. All right. Kittens have already examined everything and they're done. They've already completely finished mailbag. All right, we have the note. Okay, to read on stream with this really cool bookmark uh, with a like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vintage kitty on a tuffet. There we go. And then we have dear Mr. A. Many thanks to you and Dr. DJ for all the wonderful things you do for needy mom cats and their precious kittens. Your live stream and updates are a joy to watch. I started watching right before the Catterns graduated and Mural's arrival. It's been an absolute delight seeing the ruses and tiny paints grow and thrive. And I'll admit that I'm in love with every single kitten. Oh, I'm really going to miss them. Oh, wow. Uh, is that the, that's the letterhead? That's a really cool uh, drawing of a kitty here. I know you don't want any gifts, but we saw these in a in a great shop in Georgia recently, and they had your name on them. Not sure if you're into Pete the Cat art, but I think he looks like Gambit, especially after Gamby's dangling drama in the cage Tuesday after Tuesday night after Halloween. I've included the shopping bag because it features the late Cat's Meow shop cat, Brutus. His successor, Arnold, highly recommended the yarn mice also in the bag. Unfortunately, there were three mice, but my cat, Lily, stole one. Uh, there wasn't much of a local newspaper to send, but I included what they had as well as a tourist guide. Well, the, you know, most of the local papers aren't much. That's what I like about them. Uh, thank you again for everything you do, for the kittens, the joy you share, and for teaching me. My kitties have benefited greatly from your lessons. Have a very Merry Christmas, Robin. P.S. I hope Dr. DJ gets the perfect fellowship this week. Merry Christmas 2021 to the entire Kitten Academy family from Robin and Thomas, Max, and Lily. Well, thank you all so very much. And let's see uh, what we have here. This is a fan dangle, it says. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it is then. Very cute. Hi, buddy. What are you doing in this box? Sham. Sham is right in this box that we're going to open now. All right, you got to come out here for a sec. There's the tissue paper. You were all into that. What a cool, uh, it's Cat's Meow. Oh, I think this might be the same fellow from your letterhead, too. Cat's Meow on the bag, like you say. Pine Mountain, Georgia. And on the inside, we have not much of a local paper, the Pine Mountain Traveler. Oh, don't tell them I said that. And, uh, and the Pine Mountain Area Travel Guide, the official guide from 2020. So uh, once we get the time travel machine going, we will be all set to use that guide. Uh, we've also got these really cute little mice, as you mentioned. And then look at that. That is very Christmassy. Wow, that could not be any more red and green. It's very pretty. Oh, it is Pete the Cat. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, you mentioned Pete the Cat. Yeah, I was not particularly familiar with Pete the Cat, uh, but DJ introduced me to him. She was very familiar with Pete the Cat. So now I am familiar with Pete the Cat. These are very cute socks, and we do have the books upstairs in, uh, I think, in DJ's office. So thank you so much for the Beat the Cat socks. Those are super cute. You said they have my name on them, but the name on them does appear to be Pete. Uh, that's okay. I, I think I can still wear them. I appreciate it very much. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in the bag, actually. I'm gonna call this bag uh, my stuff to go upstairs. So there we go. We'll start organizing right now. And that's to go downstairs and your little mice can sit right over there. Perfect, perfect. This is so pretty, I want to wrap something else in it and put it under our tree, but I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. I want to. Oh, but there's no time. Let's just keep rolling. Okay, what's next? Whoa. Thank you so much for the Pete the Sock. Uh, Pete the Sock Cats. Yes, thank you for those. 
Well, I recognize immediately what this is, of course, just from the packaging. This is quite clearly a ripple rug. And uh, so I don't know that I need to open it uh, and show it to you. You guys know what the ripple rug is. We see it here all the time. We've got a couple of them. There's one right there in the closet. Um, and if you don't know what it is, that's uh, my bad. I need to get it out more often for these kittens to play with. Uh, it's a rug, it's got holes in it, and it's got some Velcro on the bottom, so it ripples. Uh, you, you make little wrinkles in it, and the cats love to play it. It's, a, it's the perfect thing for, uh, I think, people that have more than one cat. They like to play in it, and all that fun stuff. And they're made uh, locally, invented by a fellow in, uh, I think he lives in New York City, at least New York State, Fred. Um, so really cool. And I don't think Fred lets you leave a note, but you do say right here it is from at Fern fan on Discord. Yes, that fern, you say. So at Fern fan, yes, that fern. Um, thank you very much. And you also put right in the return address. This is so smart. It is for Etch and Traces endowments. So uh, thank you for this endowment ripple rug for Etch and Trace. I'll tell you, uh, first off, I'm going to circle Etch and Trace, and then I'm going to write it on here. Etch, whoops. Etch and Trace, uh, you guys know Etch and Trace are getting adopted together. Uh, and um, there we go. Fred, uh, the fellow who makes the Ripple Rug, the reason I know his name is that he has sent us a bunch of like the returns and reject Ripple Rugs for us to hand out in endowments, which we have done. In fact, I think we have done it so successfully that we're out right now. Otherwise, normally I do give them to people that adopt multiple cats. So Etch and Trace would be perfect for that. But I, like I said, I do think that we ran out, uh, so this is excellent. Excellent, excellent for Etch and Trace. Exactly, exactly what I would have given them, exactly what uh, Fred would have given them, and exactly what at Fern Fan, uh, Laura at Fern Fan, did give them. Thank you so much for that for Etch and Trace. Okay, uh, I need to start figuring out where to pile this stuff out of the way. Uh, let's try that. Good. Next up, uh, this looks like a recycled box, but there's nothing left on the outside to give me a clue who it's from. So let's just dig right in and see. We do have a note. Oh, the note's right on top. We like it when the note's right on top. That makes our lives so easy. Uh, and the note says... Oh my goodness. All right, I'm trying. There we go. We made it. Letter opener. Letter open. Ah, uh, so cute. It's a little puppy snuggling a little kitten. It's adorable. It says warm and cozy wishes. Oh, with a very generous donation. Um, and it says, oh, may peaceful moments and heartfelt memories surround you during the holidays. Merry Christmas, Bob and Ruth. Thank you, Bob and Ruth. You also say a few last minute gifts for Mural and Ruin KA. Please also give one holiday collar to each mom cat. The enclosed is to use as best needed. Happy holidays. Well, Bob and Ruth, thank you. And this is a good opportunity for me to also say thank you for the lovely flowers that you sent for DJ uh, on behalf of her uh, having gotten her fellowship. Which, by the way, if I didn't say for anybody that doesn't watch us uh, all during the week, uh, DJ did get a fellowship locally so we are staying here another three years it's like when the groundhog sees his shadow uh we're gonna be here for at least another three years and then we'll have another decision to make uh at that point but uh it's it's nice it's nice to know we've got three years now we can we can do a whole bunch of the stuff around the house that we've been putting off not knowing uh, whether we're going to make it uh, stay here or not so that's all so exciting very exciting Okay, Bob and Ruth. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just throw our packing material back that direction, I guess. It'd be cool if I could get it all in that house, wouldn't it? Here we have, it says, Merry Christmas Faculty. And it is a uh, slow feeding mat. It's one of those special weird bowls that you put all their food and treats into. It's supposed to slow them down. Uh, they got to put their paws in and dig the food out and stuff. So that's for the faculty for Christmas. It's perfect for them, especially for little Logan being new tins can just eat way too fast. Here we have a collection of real fur mice, one for each kitten, you say. And those, these things, wow, these are going to be a big hit. 
they look like the, the typical little fur mice that we get in bags, but those all have really short fur, and these are all long-haired mice. Uh, look at that. Some of these are like really, like this guy's got a punk, a very punk look going on. Like some, uh, I don't know, what does that make me think of? Like 80s Tina Turner or something. Like some big, big hair. Uh, okay. We have a unscented, let's make a clean getaway. <laughs> Hypoallergenic wipes. That's a cute idea. We can go through an awful lot of wipes. This says, DJ, open me. All right. Well, DJ, oh, I don't, she's not sitting right there anymore. She must have gotten up. I will pass it on to her. That's so cute. It's a, a bumper sticker that says, Cat Mom. And these very fuzzy socks. Oh, my goodness. It is the season for fuzzy socks. Not only are they fuzzy socks, they've got a, a cute little pearl at the top, too. Extra, extra fancy. DJ wants her fuzzy socks and uh, the cat mom uh, bumper sticker right now, but I think mostly the socks. Oh, there you go. She caught it, too. Wow, good catch. Okay. We have this wonderful throw blanket, very Christmassy, too. It says K.A. Cotton Throw. Look at that. DJ, you like this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it is perfect. So it's a K.A. Throw. We have for Rue. Uh, these cute little mice, fuzzy little mice things. I don't even know what to call them. Oh, it says, uh, <laughs> this is so cool just because it is very clearly, uh, well, I say very clearly, maybe it's not, but it looks like it is a Jackson Galaxy knockoff. And the reason I say that is because it says Jackson Galaxy all over it, but the logos it's using are nothing like the real Jackson Galaxy logo. Uh, that is cool. It also says Space Kitty Express and Jackson Galaxy present three kind mice kitten toys for Rue. Okay. Jackson Galaxy and Space Kitty Express have paired up to offer this cute bundle of toys that kittens will love. It's, uh, that's very cute. Okay, so that's for Rue, and that's an endowment, and I don't have a place to pile those up yet, but I want to make sure it goes the right place. So I'm just going to toss it that direction. This one is for Mural, and it's coming apart, so I'm going to put her tag on the inside of the bag so that we don't forget the fact that that one is for Mural. Same deal, though. Silver vine and fruit leaves. Oh, very cute. Okay, I'm just tossing it that way. These are their Christmas collars with bells, and uh, oh, they've got cute little um, uh, charms on them, too. One has a, a glove, a little uh, winter glove, and the other has a stocking. Those are cute little charms, too. Each one has a little gem in it, and they're enamel. Very nice. And then they each have a little bow, and they're super Christmassy, and I would love to put this on them right now, but these moms haven't worn collars yet, so they're probably not going to be into it. Plus, i got to keep mailbag moving. I can't I can't do this right now. I can't get distracted trying to put a collar on a mom. Can't, but we'll come back around to it, won't we, kiddo? We will. All right, so that's for the moms. Here we have a Rue. It's two little Christmas llamas. For some reason, they're very cute. Rue gets two little Christmas llamas. Uh, I'm throwing it all that way, but now I want to, well, whatever. We're going to figure it out. Now, just keep with the program. Here we have some K.A. Oh, these are little Christmas gnomes that you stand up for decor. They've got, you can feel, I can feel. They're very heavy weighted, like uh, bobbles that, uh, wobbles, weebles, weebles, weebles that wobble and they don't fall down. So that's cute little decor. And this is a banner that says Happy Holidays, P A W, Happy Holidays banner for us to hang on the fireplace. <gasps> those are perfect decor. DJ's going to like those too. I'll put those with this, this throw. Uh, we got some Shiba treats. We got some Churu bites. Oh, Churu bites specifically for Rue and Mural. I want to put those over there in the pile of endowments, but then the kittens will eat them. We don't want that to happen right now. So back in the box. We have Mural gets these uh, little peanut-shaped mice. And Rue gets these little vegetable-shaped vegetables. DJ and Mr. A get some herbal tea in winter spice and black tea flavors. Very cool. Christmas tea specifically. Oh, I think that's because they add in cinnamon and cloves, it says. That sounds awesome. I do love cinnamon and cloves just all the time. Uh, I put that in my coffee quite often, too. Excuse me. I think I'm going to sneeze. I also have, I like chai tea that is, <laughs> excuse me, redundantly made. 
<laughs> Excuse me, but um, at least around here when I get it, it's got those same spices in it. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Okay. Rue and Mural also have Be a Good Human Blankets. Uh, that They say, oh, they actually say Be a Good Human in them. Well, Rue and Mural would make excellent humans, the very finest. So that's perfect for them. Cute little pink hearts. All right, now I'm going to start piling up and down this, in this box because we had you. And it's good to just keep it going. Also, did we lose a card worth of mice? Yes. Yes, we did lose a card worth of the very fancy mice. Yes, I know you want yours right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're serious too. <gasps> wow, small. I have not seen you so serious about something. Whoa, look at that fur flying. Did you see that fur come off of that? Ah, wow. Maybe that's why the other mice don't have big hair. Whew. Okay, buddy. All right. Okay. I know you want that. You'll get it. You'll get it when you go home, little girl. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, thank you, Ruth and Bob. Thank you very, very much. I wish I could just uh, stop, but there's uh, we got to get through all this, so we're going to keep it going. Let's do it. Lisa, four kittens. All right. Lisa, four kittens. With a Nissan ad. Hmm. Floppy fish for mural. And what does it say? Floppy fish for scrawl. Okay, we got one for mural, one for scrawl. You guys know what this is. It is the electronic floppy fish, uh, just like it says. These are a big hit, actually. We've got a couple of them going over there. We've got a lobster and a, a skeleton of a fish, and uh, they're, they're a big hit. So this said for mural, right? Mural and for scrawl. It's an odd combination. I assume they just kind of turned up that way, and that as we go, we're going to find more for everybody. Or maybe mural and scrawl just happen to be at least the kids' favorites. That's okay, too. You guys can pick favorites. There's nothing wrong with that. Okie dokie. Oh, I got those collars in here, too. I don't have any way to label these. Hey, Tommy. Tommy just took that card of the really fancy real fur mice and ran away. TJ, stop Tommy from stealing mailbag, please. Those mice have to go to everybody, Tommy. Well, it is another fish, and this one says Trace. All right, another fish. This one's for Trace. I do think now we're probably going to find a lot of these, but that's okay. Trace. They're easy to label. I like that. Good. You're not going to get that from Tommy, or did you? You want me to get it? Do you want me to get that from Tommy? Did you get it? Oh, I didn't know you had your headphones in. He, I need it back. You can't just have it. Okay, TJ's going to get it. I didn't know she had her headphones on. She's watching Colombo out there, I think. Oh, oh, wow. Sharks. Oh, man, sharks. Hey, these are actual sharks. What? I didn't know they made actual sharks. The other ones were, you know, sharks. Sharks in finger quotes. These are real sharks. Dental fish, one each, hijinks, hustle, sham, gambit, etch, trace, squiggle, squall, splotch, mural, and the missing one for caper. Thank you. I'm going to put it in here and close this lid so they don't get it again. Sorry about that. Sorry, Tommy. Okay, so uh, the missing one for caper. How, does, how do I give somebody a, a fish that isn't here? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, well, we're expecting more fish anyway, but I'm just going to assume it's one for each, and I'm going to put them in the announcements. I'm not going to individually label them because that would be silly, and I'm sure we'll come across some more. Lisa, thank you for the actual dental shark sharks. That would be really nice. You guys know. Um, you guys know that. Kittens uh, start to lose their baby teeth and get their adult teeth at about six months old. So that usually happens after they've left Kitten Academy. And it's nice for their doctors to have a little bit of a teething toy for them to chew on as they go through that process. Tommy is stealing other toys that I threw over there now. 
Tommy, stop stealing from me. Oh, he just ran away with it. Tommy, come back. Too much, Tommy. We, this is a long mailbag, Tommy. We don't have time for this game, buddy. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple toys that he's allowed to have. See if we can encourage him to take one of those instead, Tommy. You can't have it. No, Tommy, don't take this. Whatever you do, don't take this cork. No, don't do it, buddy. We need this cork. Oh, you didn't get it anyway. All right, try that. Try that. Okay. Uh, I forgot where I was, uh, but I'm sure where I was is basically saying thank you to somebody for something, and uh, let's keep rolling. Okay. Now settle down, everybody. Settle down. All right, JB. It just says JB. There you go. I can't even get this open all the way. I'm going to have to do just a little more, a little more knife here. Hi, Tommy. Tommy, is it boring that you can't have all the fun toys? You can just have the toys you're allowed to have. Did I ruin everything? What is this? It's a triangle of cat toys. Uh, I love this. There's one of them is a little lion, and uh, they've got fake grass in there. All right, it's all very cute. Triangle of cat toys. Also, some receiving blankets. You can never have too many of those, especially when there's kittens coming. And there's always kittens coming at the academy used uh, those as packing material. Very smart. Also used as packing material are these Christmas colored tissue papers. <laughs> those will be fun for the kittens. The note and packing list. Okay to read on stream. Good. Well, I think we figured it out, but it's good to let us know what it's for. It says, sweet holiday wishes. And it's a penguin riding a snowball. I didn't know they could ride those. A penguin riding a snowball and uh, carrying a great big cup of hot chocolate coffee, though it's labeled coffee. It says, may they be filled to the brim with fun and topped with extra whipping sprinkles. Mr. A, that's a coffee drink on the front. I'm a fan, too. JB, dear KA friends, happy holidays. Joy and peace to all enclosed. You will find the following. Four 100% flannel cotton receiving blankets and assorted Christmas-themed toys for the cat. Cats boxed appropriately, please deploy immediately for maximum seasonal fun. Small token of my love and affection for K-A-J-B. J-B, thank you so much. That is super sweet of you. And uh, that means I'm going to have to start a pile of stuff for immediate deployment, uh, which I'm just going to, I guess, put over here by the TV for the time being. We're going to figure that out. And this is stuff to go with us, which is kind of this pile. We're going to need some more boxes. Uh, we'll get there. It says Brutus was here on the bottom of this bag. Who would have ever noticed that? That's cute. Okay, uh, moving right along. Here we go. This one is cool. It's wrapped in a, an extra layer of brown paper. I like that. And the address here says it's got the our our address is written here with two little stickers of kittens that are holding signs that say "Adopt Me." Uh, it looks very much, actually, you got to look really close, but if you do look really close, it's got a very millet uh, face to it. It's got kind of a millet face. And the return address says it's from Neko Chan. Neko Chan, thank you in advance. Let's see if I can feel around here to figure out how to open this box, all right? We're guessing. I'm guessing I open it on this side. Yeah, right here. Let's try this. Okay. Nail it! Oh yeah! Oh wow! Look at Christmas in a box. All right, Christmas in a box. Here we go. Oh, look at that! All right. How fun is that ribbon just by itself? The ribbon is the fun. It's so fun. Okay. There's a note here. Let's start with the note. Merry Christmas, Kitten Academy. It's got three cats on a sled. They're very cute. And it says, wishing you a joyful season. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I had to send you this card because the tab reminded me of Sweet Eddie. He really does. He almost looks like somebody like Photoshopped Eddie in that same style to get him in there. Uh, tentative personality, green eyes and all. 
I've sent along Christmas treats for humans and felines and a little more Christmas decor. The nuts are from a farm in our area. Hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Love, Anna, who is Neko-chan, and Milo. Well, Neko-chan, thank you so much. Uh, Christmas treats for humans and felines and Christmas decor. Let's check it out. I, I almost hesitate to open this. When people send stuff that is really nicely wrapped like this, I never know if I'm supposed to open it now during mailbag or put it under our Christmas tree for Christmas. But because you told us everything that's in it and because it's wrapped in bubble wrap, I'm gonna we're just gonna go right ahead, even though that's the coolest ribbon. We should keep that for something, shouldn't we? I love it. Oh, it's got a little staple on the bottom. Let's hold that up. It's otherwise it'll just come undone. Yeah, big old pile of nothing. That's fun. Okay. So we have the uh, Origin Original Cat Treats, biologically appropriate freeze-dried cat treats, no less. And a ton of, ooh, the Inaba Chicken Filet. Better than churu. It's just a giant piece of chicken. And then also there is some tuna churu in there. That's good stuff. We also have what appears to be a cat bed in the shape of a reindeer with a red nose. I can't think of any reindeer that might have had a red nose. Uh, that's weird. What kind of reindeer has a red nose? I don't know, DJ, do you want to put out a reindeer bed right now? Oh, she's got her headphones on. She doesn't know. It's fine. Well, I don't know if we're going to put it out right now, but it is Christmas seasonal, so I might as well pull it out to look at. It's cute. It's uh, it's short and, uh, and rounder than I thought. I thought it would be a little taller and skinnier. Okay, here we go. Look at that. It's uh, also kind of abstract, after all. Hang on. Let me put this in there. Aw. It is very abstract, but it's, it's cute because he's got antlers, he's got ears, he's got the nose, he's got, I guess, a giant mouth, but he has no eyes. Hmm. Well, you know, that's fine. I learned uh, some stuff from Taylor's mom about how that can be a congenital defect and they can live a uh, very happy lives, even though, even though that bed's never gonna see anything. Okay. So we've got some tissue paper and what is this box? Bates Nut Farm. Uh, all right, yeah, let me just push that right back there. Bates Nut Farm. Hang on, I need a knife to get into the Bates Nut Farm box. Let's take a look. There we go. Ooh, Bates Nut Farm in Valley Center, California. Ooh, chili, lemon, pistachios, English toffee covered in nuts, lemon, chili, peanuts, and mixed nut brittle. Uh, I'm going to have to hide this from DJ for a change. Normally, DJ's the one that's got to hide food from me, but all four of these sounds like things that she would actually eat, um, but that I would also actually eat. That's rare. It's rare for us to find something that both of us want. Uh, so she's never going to find out about this. And she's got her headphones on, so I can say that, even though she's looking right this direction. She has no idea that I've just stolen all those nuts. All right. Uh, okay, moving along. Here we go. Thank you, Neko Chan, by the way. I really am going to enjoy this. Did I? I opened all the stuff. Yeah, okay, I got it. Let me get that whole box. Yeah, we're not skipping anything. Hammock bed for mural. If the website's right, this one's a tad bigger from Lisa for kittens. Oh. Lisa, four kittens. All right. I don't know uh, what it's a bit bigger than because we're not opening it in the same in the same order in which you sent it. Oh, and this is also taped shut. It just says hammock yellow. All right. Well, you know what? We know what a yellow hammock looks like, and we got to keep this thing you move moving. Uh, you did say mural, right? I, I just threw the note all the way to the other side of the room, and I'm having regrets because I don't remember. Uh, I'm going to go with mural, though. I wrote mural on it, and I'm putting it over there with the other endowments so that we don't have to worry about Tommy getting into. So if it wasn't mural, uh, somebody better let me know. I screwed it up already. And here's another box from Lisa Four Kittens. Uh, Lisa Four Kittens. This one is another fish. A little left. I think we're going to see a lot of these fish coming through. This one says splotch. There's splotch from 
These are four kittens of wine. S P L O T C H S P Four. I think I need to get a different one of these pens. I got some right in the other room. I think this one's about ready to get switched. Interesting. They all die at the same time. I'm, I'm noticing because I just had written on my grocery list that I need some new permanent markers uh, after the rest of the same sets finally starting to run out. Uh, so I got to get those ordered. Don't order any for me. I got it covered. Trust me, I'll just have too many. The exercise USB cat toy ball. Ooh, an exercise ball. All right. Also. Ooh, rechargeable rolling ball. First kitten to get picked up, Tom or Gimmick? Question mark. Well, not either one. Uh, second kitten to get picked up, Tom or Gimmick? All right. Uh, well, actually, I guess that what that means is hustle and hijinks and doodle. So I'm going to write hustle on one. I'm going to write doodle on the other. There's a big empty spot right here. Perfect for writing things on. Hustle and Doodle. First and second kittens to get picked up, right? Okay, there we go. I hope that's what you meant by that. And if it wasn't, well, we just got to keep moving anyway. Let's put this back that way. There we go. Tommy's going to tear this up. Oh, I should move these treats so he doesn't tear these up too. Yeah, I know. I want to bring these downstairs and hand them out with the endowment treats, but... Well, I guess I'll just put them in with the endowment stuff for now. This is going to get this is going to get out of control anyway. I don't know why I'm worried. Okay, I just got to assume it's going to get out of control and uh, roll with it. Oh, hey, it's another. It's the same thing. It's more uh, cat play balls, and this one says for hustle. Uh, and for scrawl. Okay, well, now we're getting confused. Hustle and scrawl. Um, let's see. Oh, they come in colors. Do they come in colors? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. So you said the pink is for scrawl, and the this one is for hustle. So we make the other one for hijinks, perhaps? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Anyway, I can write scrawl. But I can't, I can't unless I spell it right. A W L, fair enough. And hustle. Perfect. All right. And then we can relabel hustle or uh, this other one for hustle, right? Where is it? Where it go? Set those right there for now. We'll come back. What else? What's next? Kid Academy Dragon Lady 71. Dragon Lady 71 set. Ooh. Oh, good one. Uh, these are those little felted balls that are such great kitten toys, especially when they're, they're, they're little tiny kittens. These are one of the first toys I like to give them. But uh, also fun for, for older kids to bat around, especially when you've got a whole bunch of them. This is perfect. Thank you so much uh, for that. Dragon Lady, much appreciated. This, nice work, Tommy. Nice work, Tommy. Oh, that's all. Nice work, Tommy. Okay. Like I said, we've got to keep it moving. Oh, another from Dragon Lady. Catnip 302. Is that what that says? Plus, hi, Jinx. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Jinx. Oh, oh, that is what it says. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, the lid came off. Wow. I got lucky. All right. The lid came off, but I just happened to just catch it all. Almost all. 100% natural catnip. Cosmic pet. Our pets. Cosmic catnip. All right. Well, that's what it is. It's a jar of catnip from Dragon Lady. Never have too much of that either, especially uh, we like to take all the toys and then we have a like a big plastic bin that we put random catnip into and then we put toys into it. The toys become more and more interesting to the kittens. Very good that way. All right. Thank you for that. All right. A recycled mailer. Ooh, with a paper in it for me, that's very exciting. The half 
Moon Bay Review. Oh, DJ's going to want to see this. Half Moon Bay Review. Very exciting because, of course, Half Moon Bay is a featured location in one of DJ's favorite films of all time. Birdemic, the, uh, the cin cinematic masterpiece. DJ, look. It's the Half Bay Moon Paper. Half Moon Bay. That's what I meant. Yeah, paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, very cute. That'll be a fun one for me to read. I think that might be one that even DJ wants to read just because of that connection. If the diner's in there? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Thank you for saying it. Uh, it says serving the entire San Mateo coast side since 1898. Wow. Oh, I bet they'd give you half price on that, though. <laughs> You guys, if you haven't seen Birdemic, don't don't see it. It's the worst movie that's ever been filmed. It's so bad. Uh, that's why DJ likes it, because it's so bad. All right. Uh, where were we? These are some cute toys, and there's a note here. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, a dear friend introduced me to Kid Academy back about the time of Baba Gandush, and I've been hooked ever since. Oh, no, the note is signed James Wynn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It says, I, I don't know if I should thank her or not, since many a household chore is going wanting. But seriously, we enjoy watching KA so much, and I hope you will always be there for all the cats, kittens, and us KA fans. The toys and treats are for you to use as you see fit. We hope when you move, it will be out our way. I almost misread that. I, hope, I, hope, I almost read that as, we hope when you move, it will be out of our way. <laughs> um... Thanks so much for all that you do, JS uh, Cal Girl. Well, thank you so much, JS Cal Girl. All right, we have the original origin cat treats. These are a popular one today. The uh, You're Playing My Tuna brand cat tuna flakes. You're Playing My Tuna cat tuna flakes. That's a cute brand name. I like that. You've also sent this really cool catnip pocket dragonfly toy. And it's, uh, it's got a chewometer on it that says it's very tough to be chewed on. This may be a perfect gift for Mural because you know she likes to just gnaw on her toys. If we could get her to go for this, it'd be Hi, Mural. It'd be interesting to see how long this lasted if you wanted to play with it. Do you want to play with it? She might need it to marinate in some of that catnip for a while first. We have the fish bones, loopsies, loopies, fish bones, floppy fish bones, premium catnip, and this really cute catnip. Uh, infused roses. It is a uh, two roses tied together. Uh, with the top is weird because it's a rose print. It's the top of the rose is made from a rose print. It's uh, so meta. I really like it. Thank you so much for all of that. I do want this dragonfly to go to mural, um, even if she's not interested in it. I'll put it in here and I'll think of it again when we start handing out those endowments. The rest of this has to go to uh, general use, which I was putting over here somewhere, wasn't I? I'm going to put it over there. Okay. Well, thank you so much, JS Cal, Cali Girl. Cal, Cali Girl, Cali Girl. Uh, JS, thank you so much. Especially thanks so much for that San Mateo County uh, Half Moon Bay paper, though. I know we just get a, get a laugh out of that. You had no way of knowing uh, that that would be something that was so uh, uniquely interesting to us. But there you have it. Thank you very, very much. Oh, uh, let's put these here. You're playing my tuna. I love that too. So great. Let's put this over here. Okay. No, let's put this. Yeah, no, let's do this. this. Is right. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it, everybody. We're okay here. Let's keep rolling. These go over here. You know, whatever. Whatever. We'll get organized. Oh, let's clear out something else from behind me here. Oh, cardboard. And a note, replacement cardboard scratcher insert should fit into the wood-sided scratcher in the living room from Lisa for kittens. Oh, huh. You know, it just might. How about that? Do they sell this as a refill? DJ. What? Do we need a refill for your scratcher in the living room? How cool is that? I don't know if it's that scratched up yet, but we will set this aside. That is a great idea for when it comes to be that time. I did not know they made refills, but I put I helped DJ put that together when it came in. 
And I think it, uh, the, it's, it's basically designed where the sides, the wooden sides of it have these bolts that just go right into the cardboard. So yeah, it should be easy to replace if that's the case. Uh, we'll check it out. How cool. Very thoughtful, Lisa. Lisa, four kittens, very thoughtful of you to do that. Thank you very, very much. Oh man, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we're making good time so far. It's only, it's been an hour. That's actually not as good as it felt like, so never mind. Dragon Lady, all right, Dragon Lady. I can't believe we're already an hour in. Wow. I thought we were moving much faster than that. Dragon Lady sent us vendor stack number DP0009. So that's going to be cool. That's really all it says. That's really all it says. Okay. I'm going to have to really get in here then. Oh, what is it? Oh. It is the Daddy Pet... Uh, two in one feather and laser toy. Feather and laser. I don't know how any of that works, and neither does the graphic guy who uh, drew the laser into this picture because he very clearly has the laser coming out of the opposite end of the toy from where the laser is. You can see the little laser right here, and you can see the light coming out this side, as opposed to, uh, say, this artist. He, he got it figured out. He's got the laser coming out of the laser thing. Uh, and I see, oh, I see. So on the one side, it's got a laser that spins around. On the other side, it's got a little wand that can hold a feather that spins around. Now, that's an interesting idea. Um, thank you. I love trying out new, like, automatic cat toys. They're just so fun for me. And seeing how the cats react to them and, and being often surprised about the ones they like or don't like. Uh, never quite matching up with the way I would expect. So, thanks again, uh, Dragon Lady. I believe that was from Dragon Lady. And, oh, okay, shuffle things around just a little bit. Let's see what this is here. Well, hammock bed, I see. Oh, my goodness. All right. This appears to be an entire case of hammock beds. I wondered why it was so heavy. Let me separate this out real quick. Okay, squiggle. Scrawl. Trace. Hustle. Sham. Gambit. Hijinks. And splotch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have one. I think we've got nine in here. So it's eight. One, two, three hammock beds. Hang on. Four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight, nine. Oh, but there's another note. Aha. Etch. Perfect. Now it all adds up. Okay, good. Uh, I should label these, but because they're perfectly stacked in their hammocks, Lisa, four kittens, thank you for sending a hammock for each kitten they fill up this box precisely so i'm just going to stack them back in and put all the notes on top and we'll just carry it down and distribute it that way that should work oh, okay wow that really does perfectly fill that box okay perfect 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 there we go put all that right there the notes good wrap that up for endowment downstairs uh, that means I can slide it on back that way past the camera. Somebody, uh, Maggie, loves these novelty pod beds. She is the one that uses uh, the Christmas hat that's in the next to the Christmas tree. She's in it every day. She likes the Christmas present, although everybody likes the Christmas present. So we see Ari and uh, Custard in that one constantly. Uh, but Maggie, Maggie likes the novelty ones. There she is. Oh, already inside the reindeer head. Also, uh, um, uh, you guys know that unicorn, the really cool unicorn bed that I've tried for like three different classes to get anybody to like. And for a little while, Rue's kids stayed in, the, in it, if you remember, just for, for like a few days until they pooped in it and had to wash it. And then after that, they didn't like it anymore. Um, Ari has finally taken to that. So I've, I've tried so hard to get anybody to like it because I thought it was the coolest bed and uh, nobody wanted it. 
and I put it where Ari likes to sleep on the day bed in DJ's office, and sure enough, now Ari's all into it every day. That makes me feel good. Uh, you never know. I've said it a million times that, you know, sometimes we get a cat toy or something that seems like a real dud, uh, but if you just keep trying it, eventually you find the cat that thinks that it is the bee's knees. Uh, I just lost my knife. We don't have time for this nonsense today. There it is. All right, we got it. We got it. Dragon Lady. All right, we got another one from Dragon Lady. Let's see. Whoa, okay. Lots of packing material in this one. Hang on. I'm throwing all the packing material back towards Popo Steve's house there. All right, Dragon Lady. This time we have receiving blankets. This is really cute pink ones. This one's got rainbows on it. It says, Hello, Sunshine. I like that motif. This one has little woodland creatures. We've got foxes and bunny rabbits. Very cute. Both in a charming coral pink. And another electronic toy for us to try out. I know we've had one similar to this in the past, but I feel like it's been a while. Uh, it's called the Smarty Cat Twirly Top, and it's just a little ball with these tassels that spin around once you get it going. So that's going to be another fun one. Uh, very fun. Okay, perfect. There was receiving blankets, too. Like I say, you can just never have too many, especially when we've got mom cats and kittens coming in all the time. And I think I said last time, uh, I need to make an effort to actually throw more of the old nasty ones out. Uh, I've been hanging on to them, and now that we've got so many in reserve, it feels like finally I don't have to, I don't have to hang on to them well past the, their uh, expiration date, as it were. All right, big box. Let's see if we can use this to sort some stuff. What do we got? Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of packing material, so that looks good. And is there a note? A note right on top from Smiling Bex. All right, we got the Smiling Bex part. Hang on. Okay. Smiling Bex. I know these blankets are often a big hit with the faculty. Two red ones to spread some Christmas cheer and a pink and teal just for fun. Please use a KA or send home with a kitty who really loves it. From Smiling Bex. Smiling Bex, thank you so much for the uh, As We See Fit use blankets. Let's see. Oh, lots and lots of packing material in this one. All right. Oh, back towards the house. Oh, look at that. It's going to be everywhere by the time we're done. I don't know how well you guys can see this either, but we've got a kitten sleeping in one of the discarded boxes back there, one of the black kittens. And then we've got uh, Sham is right here in the TV and has been for a while. Uh, is Maggie still in here? Yes, she is. Okay, cool. Oh, you said blankets. These are. These are the blankets that are made like the marshmallow bed, though. I didn't expect that. So this is a really nice, uh, sort of a salmon pink color. And then we have this really bright Muppet blue. Uh, you said teal. It is It is a very teal color. I love this color. That is so cool. Um, and then we have red. Oh, it is a very Christmassy red as well. Interesting. Uh, DJ, I think I mentioned DJ has been complaining about a lack of, of red, Christmas red. She may have already addressed it. I don't know. This could also help. Also, there were some blankets that I think, um, uh, uh, who was it that sent them? Busy Cat? I think Busy Cat sent us some blankets that smelled of draft that were all Christmassy, and I keep trying to get DJ to take a look at them and decide which ones she wants to put out, uh, which I went, uh, I put them on her uh, pillow in the bed uh, this morning, so we'll see if those end up getting put out there or not. Anyway, I love these blankets that have the texture of the uh, marshmallow bed. The cats love these, too. And uh, they also make nice little photography props sometimes. I've used the one that we've got that is sort of a blue color uh, as water for photo shoots before. It's fun that way. These are great. That's, that's all I'm saying is these are fantastic. Thank you so much for sending these for our, for our use. And because they are for I'm going to take your giant box and uh, turn this into a, a box of stuff for our use or for our, uh, you know, sorting and deployment and uh, put these other blankets in there as well, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just do it of blankets today. Maybe it will sort things down to that level. Uh, all right, I'm not going to get it all sorted right now. I'll save most of that for after mailbag. And uh, we also have an 
that just decided to go in and check out the blankets. Good job, buddy. Somebody's got to do it. All right, let's keep moving. For now. Come back in. Hey, hey. Who was that? No, Maggie's right here. Oh, Logan. Logan, are you fighting with the moms? I thought they liked you. Yeah, hey, hey, ah! Rude, that was so rude. Rude, ah! No, 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 no. Ah. Rude is, uh, turned on and then she's gotta, she's gotta remove. She's gotta go remove. This attack, uh, Ari, has nothing to do with that. Come on. Sorry, I'm sorry, Rue. You got a Rue move. Mural should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know who was fighting because Rue was here and Maggie was here and. That was Logan and, Logan and Mural weird. Anyway, whatever it was, it set Rue off, and Ari was just sitting here, and Rue was just sitting here, and Ari was looking the other way, didn't see it coming at all, and Rue just came up and hit him. And he didn't like that, and he ran away. So anyway, Rue's just got to take a minute to reboot. Whatever happened there, it's fine. No big deal. Nothing hurt but some feelings. Uh, I was about to open something. I don't know which one it was. Was it that one? Let's just take that. Just open this next. All right, whichever one it was. Okay. Uh, Kid Academy. All right. That's us. Let's take a look. Oh, it is a Christmas blanket. It's a couple of Christmas. We're going to have so many Christmas blankets now, DJ. Uh, well, I don't think this one's going to say who it's from, there's not really a note here. It says Amazon Fulfillment Services, and there's a name here, but it's not a name that I recognize. Okay, there's no other note, there's no name in the return address, so I'm gonna say Lorraine, I guess. Thank you so much for these. They are two very Christmassy clothes. They are perfect for what DJ wants, and I assume that's what you sent them for. Velvet Touch Throw Blanket. Perfect, and they've got a little Christmas uh, uh, print on them. Just, I, I just covered how DJ is looking for stuff like that and uh, how perfect it is that you guys have sent them, so there we have it. I won't belabor the point on this day when we've got so much still to get through. I mean, really, it's incredible. Oh, this is pretty, too. This one says, Dear Dr. DJ, Dr. DJ, congratulations on your fellowship. I thought you and any kitten you snuggle will love this blanket with pom-poms. Love, Castada. Oh, Castada 0902. Oh, wow. This does, it's a, it's like a chenille, a very fuzzy blanket, but it's been vacuum sealed in here. So uh, we can't really get the full value of its texture. Why don't we go ahead and, again, I don't want this mailbag to take too long. Oh, DJ's not looking right now either. And this is so tight. Okay, never mind. I'll say this. I bet DJ is going to love it. It looks like it's going to be super soft. Uh, Castada, thank you very, very much. Um, I know that's going to be a big hit. <laughs> Sham is just, just, she, Sham looks like I'm annoying her by talking while she's trying to sleep in the TV. She's got that look that's like, would you please shut up? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep over here? Okay, we got the more dental toys. Well, we know what that's all about. Look at there they are. Some more of those. These ones are sharks. These are actual sharks. Hmm. As opposed to the other ones we had that we called sharks that were, you know, maybe dolphins or something. Uh, dental fish, I think it's a little sham, gambit, edge, trace, squiggle, splash, mural, and the missing one for caper. Perfect. There should be a missing one for mural. She's the one that's missing it too. Right? Okay. I don't know what the missing one means still. How can I give someone a missing fish? Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is from Calimo and Sir Geek, who the tiny plants adopters stopped by to give us a whole stack of Jackson Galaxy space stations, that, that gray colored uh, 
basket with the holes in it that you see the kids playing with all the time in the living room. It's a big hit. Uh, anyway, uh, Sir Geek uh, and Calimo stopped by to give us an entire stack of those, one for each kitten getting adopted. And at the same time, they dropped off this box of stuff and a note. And it says, <laughs> uh, we've got some little block print kitties. And it says on the inside, oh, so cute. Uh, it says, created just for you. All right. Hang on. Okay. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom cats, and students. Hello from the tiny plants. We hope you're all doing well. We are doing great. Our days are filled with running, wrestling, playing, eating, sleeping, and spoogling, along with being cute for photos. We've sent our faithful human servants to Connecticut to deliver some things. First, some more Jackson Galaxy space stations. Mom checked with the adopter of multiple kittens uh, to verify if they prefer one or two and has adjusted the total accordingly. Uh, okay, good. Yes. Secondly, there are some nifty knit mice. Mom had some cool yarns and inspired by the folks in the Arts and Craft channel on Discord. I don't know if that's what this is or not, but it might be. Um, I guess those are knit mice. Wow, those are the, the yarns are crazy, though. Uh, let's see. Um, inspired by the folks in the Arts and Craft channel on KA Discord, found patterns using those yarns for crochet and knit versions. Unfortunately, it had been too many years since Mom had crocheted and she was getting frustrated, but her sister, Deb, kindly offered to make the knit version if Mom was willing to do all the sewing and stuffing. So many hands made light work, and there's a mousy with catnip for each of her kittens. Fern was quality control cat for this project as he stole the first mouse made and was allowed to keep it so Mom could see if it'd stand up to destructinator kittens. Uh... Oh, some of them, they have, they have rounds? Or is that just a card, maybe? Uh, let's see. We're happy to say that with the extra strength and stitching by mom, these mice can withstand even the terrible destructive power of a fully armed tuxie. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, next, now that the weather has gotten cooler and drier, the humans were able to make a batch of maple fudge for DJ. <gasps> Oh, that looks like the real deal, too. Look at that homemade fudge uh, for DJ. Uh, and finally, for Mr. A, there's some of Mom and Dad's homemade hot sauce with the smoked hot peppers. Ooh. Oh, and sriracha peach jam. Oh, man. Peach jam and hot sauce. Smoking hot sauce. Ooh. That looks, that looks really serious, actually. Uh, and then there's a little more. Uh, let's see. There's also a jar of peach sriracha jam. Mom thinks that peach sriracha jam with chicken and waffles would be amazing. Yes, that does sound good. There's also a pair of chicken and waffle socks. <gasps> oh, they are chicken and waffle socks. Look at that. Uh, but she says, not to put the jam on those. Don't worry, I got toe jam for the chicken and waffle socks. Uh, we're wishing the best of luck to kittens and mom cats alike from this huge, crazy, mixed-up family. You've entertained us and our humans these last few months, and we look forward to seeing your post-KA adventures on Discord, Instagram, and or Twitter. Uh, as always, we want to thank you, Mr. A and DJ, for everything you do for mom, cats, and kittens like us. You make the lives of so many animals and people better just by being who you are and giving of yourselves. We can't imagine our lives without our humans and vice versa, and it's all because of you that it happened the way it did. You're just completely awesome. You and Spoogles from the Tiny Plants, that's Thistle, Moss, and Fern, and they're humans, too. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we do have to keep this moving, so I can't dwell too much, but this is awesome. Thank you so much. These are really, really cute. The kittens and cats are going to love them, and each one, I love the way that each got a little card that says, this one, for instance, to Caper from the Tiny Plants, they're humans, and they're anti-deb knitter extraordinaire. Wow, all right, credit where credit is due. We like that too. These are fantastic. Thank you very much. And the individual labeling is going to make it very easy to get these properly distributed downstairs. Hang on one second here. If I can. Yes, maybe. There we go. Perfect. Right into the endowment box. Small is climbing into that reindeer bed right now. 
I am running out of boxes that I can open within an arm's reach, which may mean it's almost time for an intermission and cleanup. Um, but we've got a couple more. Uh, we've got this really cool box right here. What is going on with that, I wonder? Okay, uh, let's find out. Let's this pile of stuff. Good. Here we go. It's got these really cool cats all over it. Oh, it says from Mom to Felix. Mom to Felix. Thank you. I, I love these giant cats that are all, all over the box. Check this out. Oh, and this really happy looking one, too. Those are really, that's great. Uh, okay. The knife. The knife. The knife. The knife. The knife. Here we go. We got it. Oh, look at that. We got the note right on top. All right. Mom, too. Felix knows what's up. Oh, some sort of a pop-up note with the same cats on it. What? How does that all come together? And it says, stay wonderful. Oh, that's some real parallax happening there. So let's see if I can get this properly for you guys to see. Look at that. It's the same little kittens. And then I think there's a note tucked in right here. Made by Mom to Felix. Oh, that's so cool. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I just wanted to say thank you for all that you do for all the lucky cats that find their way to KA and also providing all your fans such a wonderful place to visit on YouTube and Discord. I've sent you some things for your next class, whenever that may be. Enclosed are two cat beds, one tunnel that all coordinate one plush blanket, an assortment of toys to be used as endowments or deployed as you see fit. There are also tucked in the beds two large mugs for you and DJ, as well as a small handmade book for your collection of small artsy items. It is a little frayed around the edges as it has been folded and unfolded so many times in the making. Much love to you both, Mom to Felix. Well, Mom to Felix, thank you in advance. That is awesome. This card is really cool. I, you made this yourself, and it is uh, it is spectacular. All right, very 3D. So for our next mom cat and her kittens, whenever they may arrive, we have, uh, this is so cute. This is a, a very cool little bed that's got almost like a, like a snake skin or lizard dinosaur skin, something kind of a pattern in the, but it's uh, soft, it's fuzzy, it's like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, velveteen, kind of, maybe, sort of. And it's got a couple of these little tassels on it as well. And this is our cute little book, which is uh, sealed with a, it's tied shut with these cute little charms on it. And it's got a, a kitten and a heart. And uh, I almost don't want to untie it, but I do want to open it up. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. So we've got uh, classical art and it unfolds and it says, for the love of cats, <gasps> look at that. Here are, there are no ordinary cats. Ah, this is really cool. And I love all the cat art in here. You've made each page individually. Those are spectacular. Uh, and it's accordion style. So you can go from either side and look through it and you get a different book. How cool is that? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, wow. It's got an actual clock hands and stuff. A little interaction. Very cool. That's that's super cute. Wow. DJ's going to love that. Thank you. Let's see if I can put this back with a little bow or not. Now, you don't need to start trying to eat this book, buddy. There you go. Oh, hello, Worf. Eat any good books lately? Uh... Thank uh, you. Uh, all right. Here, like you said, a box full of cat toys. Very nice. A baggie full of cat toys, I should say. We have this soft blanket that has a cat, um, uh, what do you call it, embroidered into it. Uh, let's see. Somebody uh, messaging me to let me know Tommy may have gotten away with some cat toys. Don't worry. We'll search things down. We'll find it. Tommy's not going to win. Whoa, these are some big coffee mugs. 
Uh, DJ likes a big mug for her tea. These are even bigger than that. She might really like these. This says, you had me at meow. And the other one. Life is better with a cat. Oh, these are pretty too. I like the handles uh, being uh, dipped in color like that. That's very cool. Now, I think those are going to be perfect for DJ's tea habit. She's got a big tea habit where she likes to drink green tea from a giant mug. Uh, let's see. So you've also included this tunnel. Oh, it's the same. The tunnel is made of that same dinosaur skin material as the bed. It's a perfect match. Uh, and this is a matching color, if not a matching material. This is just a corduroy made in sort of a teal color. That's a very soft and fuzzy bed, too. Well, this is perfect for our next class, which, uh, like I said earlier on, uh, although the beginning of today's mailbag seems like 100 years ago, <laughs> um, uh, like I said, we've got uh, new mom cats, uh, you know, should be coming soon. That's, that's all we know. But this will be perfect for them once they do. Okay, can I get all this back in here? I get most of it back in there, and I guess that's what counts. There we go. Okay. These over here, this back there, uh, and I need to label this somehow. Can I just label it next, Mom? That's what I'm going to do next. Next, Mom. Okay, good. Hopefully, I'll remember what that's supposed to mean. Uh, there we go. The idea is that I don't want to accidentally hand this out to anybody for stuff today. There we go. Good. And let's grab um, let's grab that stuff Maggie's sitting on because why not? That's how it always goes. Maggie, can I have this please? Please. Pretty please. Come on now. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, let's see. It says Lisa for kittens. And oh I know what these are. It's from the box. These are uh, the big four-level cat towers, ball towers, and it says, four-level ball tower, please send this one with doodle, and four-level ball tower for big cat mural. So we have one for mural and one for doodle. Uh, this one's actually not for doodle, though. It's for Taylor. How about that? And these are from Lisa Four Kittens. So I'm going to write Taylor Doodle on one. Do Taylor. Doodle. And on the other one, these are the, like I said, these are the big four level uh, cat ball towers. And on the other one is for Mural. Aw. Oh. Mural. Perfect. She'll like that. Okay. Lisa, four kittens. Lisa, four kittens. Thank you very much for those. Perfect. Okay. Oh, kids, I know. I know. It's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. There. I'm trying to make sure that these things don't have anything fall out. They don't stay closed very well. It's been an ongoing uh, theme for all of them. Okay, that should work. I get this over here where the other stuff like that has gone. There we go. Good. And then we're going to open this thing. That Oh, Maggie, I need this one now. Come on. Come on. Let me have it. There we go. Thank you very much. These are those X-shaped scratchers that, uh, uh, they, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I guess you get the idea right here. It's kind of shaped like an X, but it stands up. And uh, Lisa sent some of these for, this is, that's weird. It's weird the way that they're trying to label this. Um, hang on, we'll get right back to it. It says Easy Life Hammock for some reason. Okay, well, that's fine, too. I'll tell you, uh, uh, I think it was Minion Lisa sent one of these for us to try out and one for everybody. Maybe it was Lisa for kittens. I don't, I don't remember now. I'm getting my Lisa's confused. 
At any rate, some Lisa sent one of these for us along with endowments for everybody. And the one for us has been up next to the master bedroom door uh, ever since. And Maggie and everybody, everybody loves it. Uh, Maggie especially, though. She gets up there and she scratches on it and sits on it. Uh, this says a gift from Elizabeth R. Elizabeth R. And the reason that, that says that note's weird is because they've actually uh, attached adhesive the note to the inside of the box. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what's up with that. I have no idea. But uh, Elizabeth, if you want to let us know uh, what you intended us to do with these, then we will do that with these. Uh, otherwise, we will just sort of use them as we see fit. I will tell you, a uh, surprising such a simple design is such a big hit. Uh, but it really is. It's worked out quite a bit. Okay. Let's see what else we can get open before I have to take a break because we're not even nearly done yet. We're nearly done with everything in this room, but there's all that stuff still out there in the entryway too. This says Jessica Rabbit, uh, Jessica Rabbit. And it also says it's some sort of a scratching post. Oh, and it says mural. Okay, so this is for mural, a uh, 35 inch scratching post. Oh, I think this is probably the scratching post that we have that mural likes so much, right? I'm going to see if I can not open it all the way. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Aw, Jessica Rabbit, sending one of those for Mural to take home with her is very, very nice of you. And uh, indeed, Mural does like that scratcher. Perfect. Wow, this thing's heavy, too. Those are nice scratchers. Uh, so that's, that's perfect. I'm just going to write her name on that. Okay, that's also just spectacular. Thank you very, very much. She really took to that scratcher. That's a, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, this says Lisa for kittens. Oh, and I see it is more of the little uh, electronic balls. This one says hijinks and... Uh, and that's it. There's two balls here, but it just says hijinks. White and blue with feather on string. Okay. Well, we're doing our best to figure it out. Let's see here. So this one is hijinks, white and blue. With this one over here with a we don't know label hijinks on this one. Perfect. Right in there. I'm sure that this will get sorted out as we go. We'll figure it out. No worries. Okay. Uh, this one is addressed to T-Shirt is Tommy's from LFS. All right, let's see what that means. Wow. Uh, it looks like I opened Christmas. Uh, T-Shirt is Tommy's. Well, this is some sort of an animal uh, pet um, outfit. It's, oh, it's a Hawaiian shirt for Tommy, and it is, it's actually perfect. I want to get a picture of him wearing this thing. Look at that. That is perfect. It's a little Hawaiian shirt for a cat. I'm going to have so much fun with that. Okay, you say that's for Tommy, so I'm going to write his name on it. I assume that's the one for him because it's perfect for him. Okay. This is, uh, oh, a little tiny Santa hat. So I think we're getting set up for photo shoots here. We've got a little Santa hat. Here we have a giant Santa uh, cone of shame, actually. Christmas cone of shame. Perfect if we end up needing a cone of shame for any of these kittens around this time of year. We have a, uh, an outfit that says, Dear Santa, let me explain. A perfect surgical suit. So more kitten clothing. We have what appears to be a tiny cat hat. Yes, it's a hat. It's, a, it's like a jester's red and green crown style thing. Uh, we have a Christmas tree hat and a bib kind of a deal. We have a, another Christmassy uh, collar that would go well with that hat to make sort of a jester, Christmas jester. Uh, we got a sizzle ball with feathers. Oh, some other kind of... Oh, it's a reindeer costume. It's a reindeer costume here. We have this, uh, uh, it looks like a dog bone that says Merry Christmas. Perfect. Merry Christmas. There we go. We can read it better from that side. 
Uh, we have a blanket that is printed to look like something. Oh, oh, it looks like a Christmas backdrop for photography, a Christmas photo backdrop. I can see that now. And it does, it's just got like bright uh, lights and Christmassy colors. There we go. It will be perfect for taking some photos in front of again. Let's see here. Put this oh, right over here with the photo shoot stuff. All right, there we go. Put these all on top of the backdrop for now. We have a mat, a Christmas mat that we can either use for the photo shoot or uh, for putting a little Christmas cheer under their food dishes. A penguin kicker. I believe this is a cat kicker. Uh, all right, and it's a penguin. It's very Christmassy too. Uh, that was over here with the toys. Oh, this is another shirt. This one has planets on it, and it says, Share Together Planets, and it's got rocket ships. All right, very spacey. Uh, we have another, uh, I think, photo backdrop here, maybe, or blanket that's got a cat wearing antlers. I'm going to put it with the photo backdrops. Uh, we have another one here that's Christmas stockings in front of a fireplace. Very good. Classic choice. And a zipper felt thing that has a zipper and felt and is red. And is, uh, what happens if you zip this up? I don't know what this is for. It just makes a weird shape. Hmm. Now, what could that possibly be for? Some Christmas tree storage thing? I don't know. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. This describes a return process using a flow chart. My goodness. Uh, let's hope we don't need to return anything. And we have a very tiny sticker of a Christmas scene with a door and a Christmas tree. All right. Well, a couple of these things are items for me to figure out. I like a mystery. Those should be fun. Uh, like this seems like uh, maybe if you had like a really nice Christmas hat and you wanted to keep it safe, you might put it in something like this, right? Otherwise, it's a strange shape for a bag, and uh, I'm not 100% clear on what it's for. Like I said, I like a mystery, so we're going to solve all that. Uh, but let's open a couple more before we take a break, a break, and then continue after. My goodness. All right, Lisa for kittens. Uh, this one is... This one is really stuck in there. For a note, oh, wow, half a note. Not the half is readable. No, I think that's what we got, folks. That's it right there. All right, well, whatever it is, it's got the cutest little cat print on it. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, he is adorable. What is this thing? Oh, it's a hammock, it says. All right. Well, in that case, I'm not going to get it out all the way. It's a cat hammock, apparently, and I love this print of this little cat. He's playing sports. He's got all these different sports balls, um, but he's just the cutest little kitty. Um, you didn't say what to do with this hammock in particular, Lisa, did you? Or at least there was no note to tell me. So for now, uh, I'm going to put it aside and hope that it becomes more clear, I guess. I feel like I'm doing that for too many things now. I'm going to get lost. That's what tends to happen. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, Pokemon box. All right. We're going to be seeing this for 100 years, like uh, seeing that uh, Spider-Man boxes from the post office, like a 1,000 years after that particular Spider-Man movie was out. And they've gone through like three more movies and we're still getting them. Uh, floppy fish for sham, floppy, floppy fish for etch. Okay, let's see. Uh, so etch and sham, here we go. We got two floppy fishes, one for etch, one for sham. All right, let's write down etch. Kind of looks like etch. And sham. Sham. Uh, 
Okay, I hope I'll be able to read that later. I really do need to switch out my when I take intermission. I think it's time for this time to go, uh, which should be soon. Oh, there's still a pretty big pile of stuff over here, though. Let's see. Let's see how much of this we can clear out. Just gonna keep on rolling. Jessica Rabbit. All right, Jessica Rabbit. What do we got this time? Super foods. Super foods? It does say super foods. Nature of super foods. Well. All right, I think these are the same thing. Oh. Hang on now. I really got to get all the way in here to check this out. It is a date spread. Interesting. I eat so many dates, you would not believe how many dates I eat. I have never had a, a date spread or date jam or whatever you might call it, though. That sounds interesting. Uh, I do eat so many dates. Uh, you just wouldn't believe it. I think this is another jar of the same thing. So I don't know if that's one for me and one for DJ. Uh, there's no notes, so I don't know if you intended it to be for adopters or anything else. But if, you, if I don't hear from you, I'm eating it. So that's that. Uh, Jessica Rabbit, thank you for those. Uh, that's that's going to be fun. I'm going to put those right here. Oh, I'm going to knock everything over. Don't worry. We'll get it all sorted out afterwards. Okie dokie. Um, no name on the outside of this one. So let's see if we got a note or not. Wow. It's really packed in there, whatever it is. Oh, how cute. What? Crunchyroll sent us Crunchyroll chocolates. My goodness, that is super fancy. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I had no idea this was coming to Kitten Academy. That is super fancy. Whoa. Happy holidays from the Crunchyroll team. Thank you for bringing the Kitten Magic to Crunchyroll Expo. Oh, how nice is that? Those are some very, very nice people at Crunchyroll. I just didn't do that. Uh, you guys knew that... that that's two years in a row now. They've asked us to be part of the Crunchyroll Expo, which has been easy. I mean, we just we just let them stream the video uh, at the Crunchyroll Expo. They do, but they've been so supportive of us. They're just, they're really nice, friendly people. There's nothing else I can say about it. We do have to keep this rolling. I had no idea this was coming though. Crunchyroll chocolates, and look, they've got the little Crunchyroll logo and color and everything, and the ribbon. Like that's uh, that's super cool. Oh, I bet they're really good chocolate too. All right, I can't wait. Thank you, Crunchyroll. Thank you so much, Crunchyroll people. I did not expect to hear anything else from them for a while. Till next year, I guess. Here we are. Okay, uh, let's move this guy over here and grab another box. We got a big one here. Hang on. Excuse me. Oh, this is fun. It's S-shaped S's. It's two S-shaped S's. Hang on. There you go. There's one. There's two. Uh, and there's some notes in here too. If I can get them. S-shaped S for mural and for edge. Ah, S-shaped S for edge and for mural. Okay. I gotta put this out of the way. Uh, uh, sorry, Sham. Uh, whatever, I tried. Uh, you said for etch and for mural. So let's write that on these before we forget. Etch. Okay. These are a little fuzzier than the ones I think we have right now. These have like this soft fuzz on the other that the other ones don't have. I bet they'll really like that. Okay. Trixie Brown. Oh, good. And. Ooh, oh, 
we got a little stack of stuff. Wow, I I told you guys we got to get through all. This. I got to get through all this. You guys can go have lunch or something. Folks, pause this video, come back to it later. Uh, you got some options, but I got to get through all this because we got to deploy it today. Uh, you know, we got to we got to hand it out. So no choice but to keep on going. Let's see what we got here. Uh, crinkle. Oh, well, let's see. Is there a note? There's a note right here. Okay. Note can read on air. Perfect. And the note has this cute little sleepy kitty. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, here are some toys and treats. Please deploy platypus. The treats. Uh, please deploy platypus and treats. The rest can be for the next class or as you see fit from Linda and I think that says Dennis. Linda, we're going to go Lin Linda and Dennis. Uh, thank you so much. So you want us to deploy the platypus. Hang on. That's got to be this platypus. He's very cute. He's got a giant platypus bill. He's a platypus uh, snuggle toy. He actually seems to match that sheep snuggle toy very well. So uh, that, that could be fun. That sheep's still kicking around upstairs by the ants, too. Oh, he's crinkly. Wow, I like that. I like a platypus. All right, good. And uh, hang on. This is going to go here, and this is going to go here. Okay, uh, you said deploy the platypus and the treats, right? So the treats are blue burst treats. Those are some good ones. I'll put those over here to go to our treat stuff, treat drawer area. Uh, we got these cute little animals with uh, unicorn horns, uh, except one of them appears to be a dragon. So we got two unicorns and a dragon. Oh, magical animal three pack. All right, yeah, I'm sticking with it. We got some furry little rattle mice these are the ones that are such a big hit the one that uh mural just chews right through and i see there's one in here that is a tiny version of the red and white mouse i haven't seen that before look it looks just like the big one i should put them together all right these are perfect these are going to be such a smash hit and of course the owl cat and banana always a classic you know that one's going to be a hit too uh, you said we can save these for deployment for the next class or whatever. We do have this box here. This box is stuff for the next class. So I'm just going to tuck them right on in there. Oh, together. There we go. That makes that part easy. Good. Moving right along. Oh, I didn't cover up all the address on that. Let's see if we can open this carefully. Go. Get this up there. Oh, we got a note here to Bob and Ruth. Oh, okay, good. That's sweet. We'll get that to them, uh, to Bob and Ruth. And this says, Hi there, Chris. Just a brief note to enclose a Christmas card for you and DJ. Can be open on stream. I emailed Lisa a couple days ago to check it would be okay for me to send to you. Uh, two copies of my poem for Ruth and Bob. Aw, you bet. Uh, we will send that right along to them and a Christmas card for them as well. Thank you, Joanne. And our Christmas card, presumably. Christmas wishes. Look at how pretty that is, too. Super fancy. Uh, to Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a wee card to wish you a happy festive season and good new year 2022. Once again, Kid Academy has had a busy year, and I've really enjoyed watching. What must be, I'm sorry, I really enjoyed watching what must be the best place on the internet. There we go. The KA community has grown so much since those early days in Illinois, and I hope that the next year we'll see even more humans and their kitties watching the Academy. It only remains for me to thank you once again for all you do for the cats and kitties, and by extension, for we humans too. With lots of love and the very best wishes, from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Joanne, thank you very, very much for that. Okay, and uh, like I said, we will pass that on to Bob and Ruth. Uh, I think I need to put it right here to make sure that gets to them. Okay. Kitten Academy, Dragon Lady 71. All right, Dragon Lady. There we go. It's, uh, oh, it's flat and empty. What? Wow, this is a giant flat envelope for this Walmart gift card, class of 2021 gift card. 
That's super sweet of you. Uh, thank you so much, Dragon Lady. Uh, I'm not sure if the gift card, I'm assuming because there's one card, it must be for us to use for the kittens. So I greatly appreciate that. Let me know if I got it wrong. Uh, Walmart gift card, that's super awesome. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we'll certainly get used one way or the other. Kitten Academy, all right, no hint in the address of this. Oh, but it's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. Oh, and a wand toy. A tunnel and a wand. And here we go. A red something perfect to help DJ decorate for Christmas. It is perfect. From a KA fan. Well, thank you, KA fan. Much appreciated. I think that will be a perfect thing to decorate with. And I'll put it, I'll put it with these blankets, I guess, because that's what I'm going to make DJ look at next. This is really turning into a disaster pile here. Etch has joined Sham in the TV now. They're both curled up. Etch looks a little concerned about what I'm doing, though. What are you looking at, Etch? Put on a happy face for everybody. All right, that's close enough. Oh, guys, we're getting so close to finishing this room. There's like four more boxes, and then it's just the stuff in the hallway. So let's do it. Let's finish this, and then we'll take a break. And then we'll go through all the stuff in the hallway, which should go pretty quick. So that's all dropship stuff, I think. That stuff usually goes fast. This says it is from Trouble and Carrie. Oh, they've sent more suits. More kitten suits. Suits, suits, suits. We're getting all suited up. Uh, we've got a print here that has a, uh, I don't know, Untitled Goose on it. There we go. Untitled Goose. We have this rainbow print, Rain Mork and Mindy. We have, uh, it looks like a, it looks like strawberries, but the strawberries are all broken open with something coming out of them. Uh, I am not familiar with that particular treat, but it does look like a treat. Okay. Oh, and another untitled goose. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you so much, Trouble and Carrie. Of course, uh, we're trying to have these new surgical suits, and this style seems like it works pretty well. So we will add this to our collection. And uh, next time we need one, there we have it. All right. Uh, dragon Lady, another Dragon Lady. All right. Oh, this is some more receiving blankets, a big stack of receiving blankets. Hang on. Uh, and you know that they are because I have received them. Whoops. Okay, so seven receiving blankets. Uh, yeah, and there's no, there's not any particular note here. No, I just thought I would take a look, but Walmart doesn't do notes, so that's all right. These are great, and this uh, sort of baby blue, and we've got the yellow, and we've got lots of gray and white in there. Those, uh, as always, going to be spectacular. Add that to the pile of blankets that we got today. Lots of blankets in today's show. That's perfect. Dragon Lady, thank you very much. Oh, we certainly use a lot of receiving blankets. What is this? Kid Academy attention mailbag. All right. Well, you got our attention. Let's check it out. I feel like, I feel like something has gone wrong with the shipping of this box. It's kind of open on the bottom. But let's see. Oh, well, maybe not though. So it contains an art. One art, please. Oh, what is this though? This looks really cool. I'm trying. It's definitely a canvas, and on that canvas, eh, so cute. Oh, there's a note too. Perfect. Oh wow, look at these. We got like a, a group of caroling Christmas cats. They're standing at someone's door, you know, uh, and uh, it is labeled by the artist Catherine White. This is uh, this is really cool. It's sort of a. Um, I, I can see we've got some acrylic and some i think oil and uh but it's sort of mixed media because i also think there's some marker or pen in here uh it's interesting the way that these have been combined this is uh and some texture too a little bit of extra shine and texture uh in the hat and the scarf and stuff with a little bit of a wash on top that is that is really cool okay i like that uh so it's not just it's not just you know the colors too they've added some texture and some shine Hang on, hang on. Let's see. There's a note. The note says, Meowy Christmas. Very cute. To all the faculty and staff, 
time to pause and celebrate the season, Jan. Thank you so much, Jan. And Jan has a name I'm never going to pronounce correctly on uh, Discord, which is Ubinam Rose. Ubi, Ub, no, you buy them, you buy them, Rosarium. I tried, okay, I tried. Uh, thank you so much for this. This is great. And I'm gonna put your card right here with the art, like we do for these things. Well, if I can. Awesome! Wow, I did not expect that. Thank you very much. That'll go uh, just great. Uh, almost anywhere. It's very Christmassy. I bet we can hang it in the sunroom with the Christmas tree, and uh, it's perfect for the season. DJ's going to love it. Okay, uh, put this box back there. It's becoming a giant pile of boxes. Let me grab these uh, three that are still over here. Oh, there's another mouse from to Doodle. Oh, you set out the one for Doodle, and I uh, missed it because I'm bad like that. Where's, where's the box that went down with? Is it this one? Yeah, it has to be this one. Okay. Getting there. We're getting real close to the end of this room before we start the next room. Oh, it's craziness, everybody. It's just craziness. These kittens are so loved. All right. Uh, dragon Lady. Dragon Lady. Another Dragon Lady. Wow. We're seeing a lot of that one today. Oh, and it's the good stuff it is the chicken and gravy baby food, a big restock. That's nice. We're going to go through that. I've been using it, uh, you know, I, with chicken and gravy. This is pretty much the only treat that I go for for kittens anymore is the chicken and gravy baby food. They love it. It's really good. Gruber chicken and gravy. Um, and then uh, on top of all of our usual application for it, uh, we've got a few of the kids on doxycycline antibiotics right now. And it's great for that because you just mix the antibiotics in there and they just eat it up. It's just, they just eat it right up. Thank goodness, doxycycline doesn't taste very bad as far as these uh, cat antibiotics go. So uh, it's easy to get them to eat it, but the baby food just helps. Look at that. Uh, bowls from murals, kittens from Clint. Of course they are. Clint, of course they are. As always, uh, you guys know Clint, who has been sending us bowls. Uh, for every cat who graduates from the Kitten Academy since I've almost, if not the very first class, at least very close to the very first class the whole time. Uh, they're just really nice steel bowls with a little rubber rim. They'll last forever. They're just, they're really nice. Uh, so Clint, thank you for those. I'm going to put those right in here with the endowments to go downstairs. Uh, we've got one more box I'm going to open right now, and then we're all going to take a little intermission. I'm going to pick a few of these things up, not everything, but pick a few things up and get it a little bit sorted out. And then we'll start on the giant pile of boxes over there. Uh, but like I said, those are all drop shipped. They, they probably will go a little quicker. We'll see. Okay, uh, but let's open this one more box first and then we do all that. Dang. One more box. Oh, right here. Oh my goodness. It's super, super heavy. Oh, wow. Nobody warned me. I needed a hand truck for this one. Okay. Whew. Let's see. This says, oh, Dragon Lady again. Perfect. Oh, interesting. Dragon Lady has sent us a selection of, where do we start? Uh, we've got this soft tunnel bed. It's a, it's a crinkled tunnel that's filled with fur. It's like a super fur lined tunnel. Uh, I've never seen one that is quite so fuzzy. I hope you can see how fuzzy that tunnel is on the inside. Um, we have the applause natural cat food uh, loin. Oh, I see. This is like those, excuse me, like those churu uh, treats that I just pulled out. We've got tuna loin and tilapia filet. Those are some very high quality treats right there. Uh, just like a whole filet. The cats love them. We have the Cat and Design Census uh, Circuit, the ball track, of course, a classic oh, that you've seen us use here a million times. I'm sure there's one in every room right now. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we have a Hexbug Nano, of course, another classic uh, that you've seen us use here that is always. And then the heavy part. Oh, oh goodness. I was not ready for that. The heavy part is this kitty litter. Oh, I'm making a mess and covering stuff up. Hang on, everybody. 
There's another Hexbook Nano and another bag of the kitty litter. Oh, and then we just have an empty box. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, out of the way. Uh, Hexbug Nano, you are familiar with. That is the, it's a, just a fun little toy. It's a little bristle bot that cats love to play with. It is a good one. And uh, then the Sammy Cat Evolution Bioenzymatic Odor Control Cat Litter with uh, yucca extract, apparently. I am not familiar with this particular brand of kitty litter, but I'll try it out. We'll try anything. Especially if the bioenzymatic odor control really works. Uh, that could help out for the litter box in the master bedroom, which uh, often brings us some smells we wish it didn't. Uh, so we'll check that out. Thank you. All right. I need a break and intermission. You guys probably need an intermission. It's been two hours and we're not done. And I am not stopping until we are done. I'm not stopping, uh, but I am taking a short break. So... Uh, so give me a minute. I'm going to catch my breath um, and uh, grab some coffee. I'll be back here in, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Uh, and then we will finish it up. Uh, I'm also going to put a couple of these things away. So uh, thank you for joining me so far on this just ridiculous, crazy, wild ride of a mailbag. Um, but uh, all worthwhile. So, all right, we'll be back. Get a few of these things out of here so this room doesn't look so awful. Also, my coffee. I had a coffee, didn't I? I had an active coffee. Where did it go? All right, we'll find it. We'll find all that. We'll come right back and find all that. Thank you. Uh, hang on. See if we can get a few of these things picked up. A lot of other stuff to bring in.
Hang on, everybody. Hang on. I'll bring in another load in just a minute. Alright, I don't want to try to put all this stuff away, uh, but I do want to clear just enough room to bring the new stuff in, you know? So just give me another second. See what I can get away with. As it were. Well, whatever this weird shaped bag is for, I think I can fill it up with this stuff to go upstairs for the photo shoots. Yeah, I think that works. I love it when a plan and a bag come together. Perfect. All right, let's bring in some new stuff. Hang on, here comes round two.
Do you mind leaving a note or something? I'm busy. No, thanks. Oh, sorry about that. All right, hang on. We're bringing some more stuff in. Well, that's the rest of everything except, of course, for the giant stack of 11 Jackson Galaxy Space Stations, which you know about and you saw from Sir Geek and Callie Mo, who uh, were extremely generous, even though they say they got them all for free. Uh, you know, they're still, uh, they're still worth something, you know? It's, uh, it's important. It's valuable. Thank you so much for those. All right. Uh, hey, let's do it. <laughs> Well, let's let's wrap it up, okay? I hope you guys are ready for this. Uh, we're gonna keep trying to move as quickly as we can, and uh, let's start with a couple of the big boxes. That way, we've got something to put some things into as we're going. So, let's pull one right off the stack here and get going. It might be upside down. We'll see how that works. Oh, all right. Well, it's looking familiar. It is an X-shaped scratcher, and there's not a note. Um, but if we run into a whole bunch more of these, I will know exactly what to do with them. Uh, I also, I think some of these came from Lisa Four Kittens. This is probably one of those things that came from Lisa Four Kittens. Yeah. So let's see. I think there was a note. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. So uh, we've got 10 X-shaped scratchers for the kittens only, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, plus three from the Amazon post office, but that's 13. So yeah, that's right, 13. 13 is the right number. Okay, so 13 is the number of these X-shaped scratchers that we're looking for, but do not yet have. Uh, my guess would be as we open the big things, that's where we're going to find them, right? So let's find out. We've got three of them over here. Let's try it. Let's just, let's try starting there, see if we can do this smarter. All right, let's see. 
Let's see. These are going to be great. Oh man, these kids are going to love them. And these boxes are going to be perfect for filling up with the endowments. I still needed, a, I still needed a couple of big boxes for the endowments, so they put one. They put one in this giant box because they didn't have a whole lot to send, right? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Okay. I love, uh, you know, people are doing so much to try to save the environment. And then, uh, you know, Walmart ships out so much stuff that uh, they can just, they can make up for all that. Okay, um, let's, see. let's get into this other big box down here real quick. Okay. Okay, if we can. But there's a big stash of this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That was loud. Okay, I feel like it could have been more than three in this box. Uh, and let's find out because we got more than three right here. Let's, uh, let's see how many we can fit in this box. Oh, look at that. They line right up. Three, four, five. And then uh, six, seven, eight. New design. Yeah, okay. Come on, Walmart. I'm not even trying. There's a full room for more here. That's fine. They probably came from like separate shipping centers or something. You know, you order this many in one thing, they're like, we don't have that many. Get them together from everywhere. I did it right. These are packed in. There's four of them in here. So that brings us to where were we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oop, Eleven, twelve. And then I think we expected thirteen, right? In the end. We did. We'll get there. Just double count. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, let's just move all of these right back behind the camera so get out of the way. Oh, there's one more Walmart box. Let's do it. Let's check to see if that's the one that's got it right over here. Okay, we know. Oh. Yes. Uh, one more giant box. One single X shaped scratcher. But now we got 13, and they all fit in this one box by the way over here. Easily with a million spare, but that's okay, Walmart. We got you. We got you. Okay. Perfect. Those are going to be great endowment boxes, though. So that does it does work out in the end for us. <sighs> All right. Well, those are the big boxes. Now let's go through these little boxes and see what's up. Five packs, cloth covered springs. Oh, that's fancy. All right. Cloth covered springs are there. We don't normally see those. Oh, they're just sort of packed in there. All right, look at that. Well, that's weird too. <laughs> it's got, got a long tail. They all do. They've all got kind of a long tail. Well, that's even more fun. I bet the cats are gonna have a good time with those long tail springs. You say five packs of those, uh, so one spring for each kitten, five packs of three, 
Yeah, that adds up just about right. We'll have a couple spare to deploy. Perfect. Well, let's see when the rest of those come uh, around. I don't know where they will be. It'll be a surprise, but we will find them. Lisa for kittens, thank you again. Now uh, these are, that's great, they are, <laughs> uh, two packs, eight toys, please separate out, two packs, eight toys, please separate out, that should be, leave one left over for the faculty, yes, all right, maybe for Eddie, well, let's see, so these are to separate out, okay, meow buddies, hmm. I don't know how to get these open in the first place. Let's see what we can do here. All right, perfect. We got it. Good. Oh, wow. We got some very shiny school bus, a uh, very shiny helicopter, uh, some not so shiny avocados, a wine bottle that has an eyeball and a mouth, um, and some popcorn. All right. Well, I don't know. Those are some weird toys. And then we got another one that's the same set, uh, especially that wine bottle with the eyeball, the single eyeball. That's a little disturbing. That might be a sign you've had too much. Okay. I bet the cats are going to love those just fine. So those are to separate out for endowments. Good. Let's keep moving. What do we got here? It says Lisa for kittens. Oh, oh wow, okay, much stuff. Let's see. Uh, Maggie, you can find a packing material for me, okay? Their kids are playing in those big empty boxes. We got some more fish. We assume that happened. And we got these, oh, the little squeaky birds. Those are fun. Okay, one, two, four. Whole bunch of little squeaky birds. So let's see how many squeaky birds are there. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten squeaky birds. Oh, a whole stack of notes from Amazon and two five in one pet grooming kits. Ooh. Oh, wow. Five in one, even. Pin brush, bat and massage brush, bristle brush, de shedding brush, de matting comb. Interesting kit. All right. Now, let's see. What do the notes say? Grooming brush for hustle. Hang on, we're going to have to label these so we don't get lost. Okay, grooming brush, hustle. Nobody asked you, Google. No, no, nobody asked you. All right, for hustle, perfect. Grooming brush for hustle, good. Grooming brush for mural. All right, mural. That's good. Those are our long-haired kitties, so that makes too much sense. Good thinking, Elisa, for kittens. Also, let's see, Hummingbird for Trace, Hustle, Scrawl, Etch, Hijinks, Squash, okay, 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 uh, Mural, Squiggle, Sham, and we have Fish for Gambit and Hijink, and Hustle, supposedly, and a Hummingbird for Gambit. Okay, good. So that's three fish. Yep. Hijinks. All right. This this pen has had it now. Hang on. Hang on. I really got to get a different pen because if I don't label these, they'll never go to the right people. We're stealing murals toys. I know that was you, Tommy. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? We got a floppy push for hustle. Okay, let's start to hustle. Oh yeah, that is easy to read. Good. Floppy fish for gambit. Perfect. And hijinks. Perfect. 
And then we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hummingbirds, which is the right number. But we have 13 kittens plus two mom cats. So we've got to make sure these all go to the right kids. So this one's Gambit. No, please stop. Okay, Gambit. Good. One. Trace. Two. Good. Trace. Okay, Gambit. Trace. Good. You got to set them aside so you don't do anybody twice. Uh, mural. Good. Mural. Stop it. Okay, Hustle. My Google Watch is really trying to get involved in what we're doing. Uh, hijinks. Perfect. Good. Set that aside. Scroll. Good. We got that. Okay. Scroll. Splotch. Somebody's got a lot of energy back there and they should be using it to help with this. Etch. E-T-C-H. Etch. Good. I can spell. Got that one. Sham. Good. And last one is for squiggle. Q-U-I-G-G-L-E. Perfect. Squiggle. Okay, good. All labeled. Perfect. Good. And these two also labeled. Good. Okay, let's put the labeled stuff in here. There we go. You know that I'll arrive at the right destination once it gets down the Nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're good at this. What's next? That's an airmail. Oh, I didn't cover this one up correctly, did I? All right. Let's just keep the addresses on the right sides if we can. This is not what I expected. Let's see here. Goodness, look at that. I got a couple Christmas presents. This is cool. I like that wrapping paper too. It's shiny and it's that teal green. Look at all this stuff. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I see now, does this all go under the Christmas tree? Or do we open it now? That's a lot of Christmas going on here. Oh, that's a lot of Christmas. And this is exactly the kind of thing I feel bad about having on one of our uh, lightning round mail bags too. I feel bad having any of it on one, but let's see. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of tissue paper for future tissue fits. We have the note. And we have Kitten Academy. Let's see if these notes give me a clue what you wanted me to do with this. Caution, this site uses cookies and it's a construction site and all the construction guys are sitting around eating cookies. Uh, that's perfect. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, the faculty, mums and kittens, hello from Scotland. We've sent you some gifts to use around the academy. We hope everyone enjoys them. Uh, it's been great to watch Mural, Rue, their kittens, and Tom getting along so well. One of our family, Albie, eight months, is in the finals of the Comedy Pet Photography Awards 2021 with a photo taken at home of him lying on his fluffy beanbag. We're very proud of him. Wishing everyone a wonderful Christmas and a very happy 2022. Love from John, Anne Marie, and the cats, Jessica, Flory, and Albie from Dumfries, Scotland. Who I'm probably mispronouncing that too. Uh, thank you so much, uh, John, Anne Marie, and the cats, Jessica, Flory, and Albie. And you sent another note to her. Oh, this is a pop-up note. Very cool. Uh-huh, a big one, too. Is there, there's, oh, there's no note in the note, though. It's just a pop-up. Okay. It's cats. Uh, some of them are sitting on a little cat tree. One of them is jumping through a hoop, and they're playing with balls and things. Those are some very talented little agility kittens. Perfect. Uh, well, so for all the stuff you said, I, I think we do have to open it, don't we? I think we do, but we're going to have to go kind of quickly, all right? I, I'm so sorry. Ooh, all right. First off, the cat at Fireball, uh, these are the, the light-up balls that go in the ball tracks, and I know I've complained about these being difficult to get. Uh, we currently are stocked up, but this is all we have more. 
Uh, we lose them, and uh, the ones, those are better than trying to put, like you can put a ping pong ball in there, but it doesn't roll as well. Uh, not that it's bad, but that's, that's still really nice. This is a Yule Log Cat uh, wrestling toy. That's a wrestling toy would be exactly the kind of thing that Tommy needs more of. Look at that. That's very cute. I said Yule Log. It's more of a jelly roll, though, isn't it? That's cool, too. You like that? We still like jelly rolls. What is this all about? Oh, wow. A very soft blanket. And these little kitties on it are so cute. Look at them. Look how happy this guy is. Triangle pose, downward, upward facing dog, tree pose. I see they're yoga cats. It's so soft, though. Uh, little kitties doing yoga poses. That's super cute. I'll put them in here with the blankets that are all going to get deployed around the academy. Okie dokie. Oh, what is this? Christmas all butter mini shortbread Christmas trees. Oh. Oh, those sound really good, and DJ ends up eating all the shortbread we get, so those will definitely go for her. Perfect. Oh, she's going to love that. Uh, where do I put this stuff? I thought I had a box for you that was right for this. Now I don't know. Okay, I'll just set it aside for the moment. I feel like I should have just put this under the Christmas tree for Christmas, but then some of it is kind of Christmassy, and you can't have... Christmas stuff opened on Christmas because then it's past season, right? So this makes sense. I did the right thing. That's my point. I'm doing the right thing. Uh, here we have Webox Licky Licks Chicken. It is the Webox brand of uh, like churu snacks. And those are also a big hit. Wow, these kids are being so loud in that paper, but they're having fun. That's what, that's what counts is <laughs> the fun and lots of it. It counts in great amounts there. All right. Uh, green, we got a green. Oh, it's peas in a pod. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. It's a little pea pod, uh, and the pea pod has two little crinkle ball peas and one little pea pea. Pea pea? Pea? Pea pea. Yeah, you know, whatever. That is the cutest little thing, a pea pod uh, with crinkle balls and a pea. That is, that is just adorable. Uh, all right, I'm just going to say it right here. I don't know where else to put this stuff right now, but we will figure that out again. What is this? It's kind of grippy. Oh, it's a cat play mat uh, with mice. Oh, there's mice like flying out of it. Look at that. All right. It's a cat play mouse with a couple little toys on it. And it's got pockets that are stuffed full of mice that the kittens have to find and pull out. It's crinkly. And it's got uh, the back is kind of grippy. So we can put it on our hardwood floor. And it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, and I see they're all different pockets, too. So you can, you can put little mice in each of the different pockets. And the, the cats have to find them. That's a fun little activity. I'll probably keep them busy, too. That's awesome. Okay, that's going to be a fun one. Hang on. Let's put that uh, in the pile as well to deploy. Okay. Wow, you guys said a lot. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas. Um, Whiskas Milky Treats. Oh, and the, even the treat containers are shaped like little cats now. These kittens are so cute. All right, Whiskas Milky Treats, they're going to enjoy that. And finally, oh, Temptations. Oh, Merry Christmas Dreamies for Ari, little Dreamies. That's, that's Ari's thing right there. And you sent us a variety pack of all the little tiny Dreamies flavors. Ari is going to have a very Merry Christmas. We'll put those in his stocking. Ooh. Man, my ears are so full of white noise from all this crinkling paper. <clears throat> also from all the, all the noise I'm making, I guess. Kind of white noise, isn't it? <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep going before we think about that too much. Uh, how am I doing this? I don't know. We just got to keep rolling, folks. Thank you so much. Uh, to uh, That's John and Marie and the cats. Oh, wow. Look at that. I was just talking about how great these things are for little kittens, and now we've got a ton. Uh, is there a note? There may be a note. The notes. 160 pom-pom balls, a handful for each endowment. Well, that's exactly how we do it from Lisa for Kittens. Thank you, Lisa for Kittens. Uh, we will. Uh, we just walk down the row and 
uh, throw a bunch in to each and down there. So I'll throw it right over there to start. Next up, we have another Lisa Four Kittens. Ooh. A cat comb. It's a cat comb. Cat comb. And the cat comb is. Oh, that, that's easy for me. Comb for Hustle. Yes, Hustle. Okay, good. Yes. Hustle's probably going to need a lot of combing, just like I said. That fur uh, is going to need a lot of proof maintenance. So let me write Hustle on here. Perfect. And it's right into the endowments. Excellent. Oh, this one's addressed to me. Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, these are those Christmas lights. Yes, okay, these are Christmas lights. Good. All right, I don't need to get into this. Um, uh, uh, Moose Little sent us Christmas lights to replace the burnt out lights on the tiny Christmas tree in the front hall. And that's exactly what these are. LED Christmas lights, two sets. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, I know you've been looking for those to, to come. And here they are. Just, okay, slide that right on over there. Perfect. Good. Uh, all right. Lisa for kittens. Oh, it's another fish. Okay, good. We're still going down the list of fish. There we go, the fish list. And this one is uh, Squiggle, Squiggle Sploppy Fish. All right, Squiggle. Squiggle, Squiggle, Fish List, Squiggle. Wow, that's a new pen makes all the difference. That's very nice. All right, put that in there with the other endowments. And keep moving. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, we got this. Uh, oh, it's another dental fish. All right. I haven't been labeling those because I just know there's going to be one for everybody. So let's just toss that right on over there. Lisa for kids, typical care fish. This one says for Tommy. Oh, one for everybody except for the missing one is for Caper. Right? Yeah, we got to keep an eye out for that. I don't know how that works still. Okay. Open this end. Good. Well, I recognize this art, even though, uh, there we go. Some of it is a little fanciful with a Christmas hat on it. This is clearly from our friend Dragon Maker, who makes wonderful little catnip toys. And a no, ooh, and a lot of catnip toys. Oh man, that smell when you open the box, it's all catnip in here. It's just instantly catnip everywhere. So here we have dragons pulling a Christmas uh, sled with Santa in it. So it's like the, the dragon version of, of uh, Christmas. Are they dragging the sled? Yeah, okay, that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And Dragon Maker has typed up the notes. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Happy Holidays a little early this year. Well, my wishes are early. Uh, these wings are late for some of the intended recipients. Would you mind for you the kids who are already gone to their forever homes? I'm sure you'll get to them in due time. Yes, that's exactly how it works. Thank you ever so much for all you do for the kittens as well as this wonderful community. Now I'm going to settle in for a long winter's nap. Take care. That's from Catherine the Dragon Maker and, of course, Cosette, Emma, Toffee, Smokey, and Cinnabar. And uh, if you uh, remember, uh, Dragon Maker, it's Dragon Maker, M-A-K-R, no E. Dragon Maker uh, has a shop on Etsy that you can find by looking for Dragon Maker. And makes, among other things, these wonderful catnip dragon wings. And uh, that's, well, that's exactly what these are, cabinet dragon wings for all of the graduates. And each and every one of these is a different pattern. That's impressive. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well, that's exactly the right number for this class. So you'll be pleased to know we won't have to wait for in due time. Um, uh, the, the only one that's already gone is Doodle. And Doodle is already coming back to pick up endowments. So no worries. They got here just in time. Thank you, Dragon Maker. Very much. All right. Uh, next up. All right. I'll give you a guess. Is it uh, is this from Lisa for Kittens or is it from Dragon Lady? It's from Lisa for Kittens. Yes. All right. Five packs of cloth-covered springs. One spring each. 
All right, well, we know how that works. Here's the, uh, I'm not going to open all of them now. Two, three, four, five. That's all of them. Okay, good. Actually, let's, instead of opening them all, let's put them all together in one bag. And then when I go to a gallon, you'll notice those all go together. So that's perfect. Right there. Okay, one for each. Excellent. Look at that. We're getting right through it. This box is from Lisa for Kittens. Ooh, it's a different fish. One fish for Tommy. Tommy gets a different color fish. Look, all the other fish were orange, but Tommy's fish is like this steel blue. Very nice. All right, where's my pen? we got to write Tommy on here. Uh-oh, we can't move on until it's written Tommy. There it is. Tommy. Perfect. Um, thank you, Lisa. Good. All right. Oh, well, we know, not only do we know who this is from, we know what it is. Hang on. Let's see if you guys recognize it. Of course you do. It's the ball tower. And this ball tower is for Rue, the Rutabaga Tower. All right, hang on. Is that Rue, R-U-E. Good. And there's a pile of those over there. Oh, I'm not going to get in the pile, but head in the right direction. Oh, we got another of the chew. Uh, let's see, hang on. We've got another chew shark. It says dental care fish for roux or caper. If it doesn't arrive in time, please give roux to caper. Oh, don't worry about it. I think we're all good. Okay. I think we're all good. We got lots of fish. No worries. Roux, uh, roux probably not going to need one. Uh, you know, I can see like Mural needing one because uh, she might have dental work when she eventually gets her spay. Uh, Rue probably all set on that front, but the kittens all obviously still have some teeth to go through. So see about that. Okay, we're not quite done yet. Um, we've got these boxes here that Ari's holding down for us. There we go. And then I think we're actually done. I think this is it. Ari's on the end of it. Ari, buddy, you gonna let me take these boxes now, please? Pretty please? Pretty please with an Ari on top? Okay, let's try that. Oh, everybody's just hanging out, passed out. I know, it's been a long one. Whoa, it's the longest mailbag we've had in a while, hasn't it? Oh, okay, all right, we know the deal. We know the deal. More dental sharks, that's a lot of dental sharks. I like that they're kind of minty green though. And, uh, and I still like that they're actually sharks, unlike the ones that we've seen before that just claim to be sharks. These are the real deal. Now, somebody always does this. It's usually Maggie that is tearing up the little 3D cards. This one looks like it's Tommy's toy, though, huh? Ari, I need that box, buddy. You're on it. You're on the box. I need the box. The box that you're on. That's what I need, pal. Come on. Come on, Ari. Come on. Come on. He's just going to go get on the next box so you can do the same thing to me again, right? Are you? I'm just going to stay here. All right, come on. Well, that's close. He jumped off there just in time. Well, we have three more of the USB balls, and we have three, four, five more of the hammocks. And clearly from Lisa. Let's see if the note says anything. USB ball, Rue, Tommy, and wait, Rue. Tommy and Gimmick should have come separately. Okay, but there's there's three here. Hammock for Rue. Okay, so we know we got a ball for Rue and a hammock for Rue. Oh, there's more notes. Okay, doodle ball. Caper bed, Hang on. bed for gimmick, Tommy, doodle, okay, ball for caper, 
Ball for Rue. Hang on. Bed for Rue. Ball for Doodle. Is that everything? Did we get it all? I think we I think we got everything there. I think that's accounting for it. Because now we've got one, two, three, four, five be five beds. Five notes for five beds. Perfect. That's just the same way we did the other one. And then we've got balls for Rue Doodle Caper. Rue Doodle Caper. Rue Doodle Caper. Are these all the same? I think they are. Okay, we're gonna pretend they are. Rue. Perfect. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, Rue Doodle. I'm just gonna write dude. And then the third one is caper. All right, perfect. Good. All right, good, good, good. Now we're getting there. And look, we're going to do the same one the same way. Just leave the notes in, close this up. We'll figure it out downstairs. Ideal. All right, good. Ari, I knew you were going to get on there right when I needed it. Good, good work. Good work, buddy. You're holding up your part of the deal. Yes, you are. Ooh, gift bag. The gift bag says, Bobby Fish, two count. Please split between doodle and caper. Okay. Let's see. Oop, if you can. How does this open? Ah, there we go. We got it. We got it. Wow, this one's all wrapped up with the tissue paper and all. Somebody... All right, so hang on. Please split between doodle and caper. Okay, we got this, and we got this, though. So do I get two to doodle and two to caper, or should there be another note here? Doodle and caper. Oh, and we got more of the little uh, hummingbirds, too, that we labeled the other ones, but now I don't have any notes for this. There's no notes except for the one on the gift bag, so... I guess what I'm going to have to do is uh, go downstairs, and once we hand those out, we'll just see if I can figure out who didn't get one, and then uh, we'll throw these at whoever didn't get them. Perfect. Yeah. All right. If there's probably a total of 15 anyway. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't have had to label them. Also, uh, guys, guys, this is really weird. Uh, that box I just opened came directly from Amazon, am I right? And in the bottom of the box, some of you probably recognize what this is. I thought it was dental floss. It is not dental floss, it is an Apple iPods, uh, but it's missing one iPod and it's dirty and it's clearly used. This has been in somebody, some stranger's ear and I'm touching it. Uh, that was cool, I don't know why I'm doing that. Apparently somebody at Amazon has lost their iPods. Uh, iPods? That's what you call it, the Apple I, the earbuds. Ear iBuds? Okay, look, I don't know. All I know is this obviously came out of that box that was obviously a drop shipment from Amazon. Uh, and uh, I don't know what to do with that. Do you? Those things aren't cheap, are they? And there's only one there, so somebody's got one somewhere. That's a shame. That makes me feel bad. I guess I'll get in touch with Amazon and ask if there's anything I can do about it. I mean, what are the chances they can possibly do anything about it? Poor guy. It, at least the guy knows where to get a new one, right? He works at Amazon. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> That's interesting. Not what I expected to find in today's mailbag. <laughs> Somebody else's... Uh, 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 yeah, I, uh, ear, earbuds, I, I earbuds, eye buds, they're not eye buds, you don't put them in your eyes, they should be though. Okay, uh, oh, and this is it, this is our last box, and this one is also from Lisa, and also contains the S-shaped S, oh, if I can, all right, there we go. Also contains a big old S shaped S. Now, wait, did we know the third S shaped S was four? All right, there's no note for this third S shaped S, but we'll just figure it out. We'll make it figure. No, don't, don't worry. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's 
it and that we made it through everything and it's only taken us like three hours so uh congratulations to anybody that's made it through all three hours with me and thank you so much to everyone oh you said uh, these fish were for caper and um caper and hang on i gotta look in the uh the iphones box now don't i where did i put that over there okay well we'll figure it out because there were two fish uh i feel like i could split these up for you um We'll figure that out. And these also were supposed to get distributed. Oh, and so is that. Okay. And this is not. That goes over there. We got this. We're going to get this. Don't you worry. Uh, put these in here. That'll make sense to me. Good. They're all looking for those uh, Dragon Maker catnip things. They're over here sniffing around. It's just like you got where the smells are coming from. Uh, as usual, I am going to put all this stuff away and then I will come back and we'll say thank you again. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day sorting. Yeah. Uh, the human sorting hat. So distracted by that. I don't know what to do with it. There we go. Just put it out there, I guess. Uh, Fish, doodle, and caper. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. I'm just going to write doodle and caper on them for now. And then doodle. But I don't think they each need two, do they? I don't think they do. We got it. Oh, we never did figure out the balls then, because we've got these over here, and I've got one that's labeled for hustle uh, that can't possibly be for hustle, and then one that's not labeled. But again, uh, you know what? We'll figure out when we get them all downstairs. It'll either make sense or it won't. Mom cat collars. All right, those have to go downstairs. This is going in here. Perfect. These are going in the kitchen. I almost put those human shortbread cookies in the cat treats. That wouldn't have been the right thing. <clears throat> Kids probably wouldn't have minded. Wow, uh, Lisa for kittens, that is just, Lisa for kittens, you are so generous for these kids. They are just going to have such a great start. Uh, thanks to everybody, and uh, especially thanks to you today. Tommy, let's stop, buddy. Uh, Tommy's trying to pull out those uh, little knit things that came from Sermo, Sermo and Calizik. I tried. Sermo and Cali Geek. And uh, Deb, right? Deb, the, uh, the sister who can actually knit. <clears throat> okay, I think this is all I can fit in this one box and just slide it down the stairs. Yeah, let's go. Let's go slide this whole box down the stairs at once. That's going to be fun.
What? Why do you all look so guilty? Do you all do something in those couple seconds I was downstairs? Even you, Maggie? You look guilty too. What happened? Let's see, these asses were for etch and mural. Does that mean the other one's for Rue? Rue needs one. If she doesn't already have one, she must have one of the shaped asses. She's the one that lives on it, right? Take a look downstairs, see if she's already got one or not. Oh, Tommy. Come on, buddy. I need that. Come on. You're as bad as Ari. Oh, and Rue for that matter. I just had a peek. It seems like Rue does not have an S shaped S yet in her endowments, so that's got to be for her, right? Just tell me if I'm wrong, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Also, let's see now. This is going to go downstairs, but not with the endowments. Same with everything in this box. Let's put that together. We can add this. And this, and this, and this, and these, and that. Oh, yeah. All the down so now that means down this downstairs. Thank you. I guess these things can kind of stay out. I mean, they're already going, right? There we go. Oh, did I clean up the box that the iPod came out of? I wanted to set that aside so I could give a reference. I should put it away. I knew you were going to want that, Maggie. Sorry, Tom, you got to do it first.
What was in this one? Oh, right, the next class. Right, okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave it right here for now, actually. And these are going to be good for now. Let's take those downstairs. Throw these downstairs. The tape. I'm going to be all cool about it. Everybody, hey, that's it. We're uh, well, we basically cleaned up here. I got one more load to take downstairs, but I'll do that on my own time. If you're watching this uh, live, you don't have to go anywhere because we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep streaming. That's not an issue. But if you're watching this someday in the distant future uh, after the apocalypse and uh, YouTube is still around, then... Um, Check out the Kids Academy live stream. I'm sure that's still going too, and see what's going on. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait. I'm being reminded. That's right. I need, uh, I need hustle and hijinks to wave goodbye to everybody, don't I? Uh, let's see, where are they at? All right, that's Gambit in there, and boy, he's being funny. Hang on, let me see if I can find Hustle and Hygiene, and then we'll wrap this up. Alright, hijinks and sham were having a nap together with Hustle nearby, so I'm going to take a couple pictures before I pick them up to bring here, but here we go. Hustle and hijinks, as you know, are getting adopted together tomorrow, so say goodbye, boys. Bye-bye, good luck storm in the castle, boys. Okay, there you go. Well, that'll have to do. I think that's about the best goodbye wave we're going to get out of these two sleepy heads right now. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, bye, bye. Okay, we tried. All right. Uh, now we're really done. Let's uh, see if I didn't already in the archive. Let's end it now. And.